AccuStats Video Production presents World Class One Pocket. Hi, everybody. I'm Nick Varner, and I'm at Spot Shot Billiards in Portland, Maine, for the World One Pocket Championships. With me tonight is my very special guest, Howard Vickery. Hello, Howard. Hey, Nick. How are you doing this evening? Uh, we got a great match tonight, Howard. Uh, we got uh, Jose Perica uh, playing uh, Alex. Pagulayan, uh, Alex is from uh, Toronto, Ontario, and uh, Jose is originally from Manila. I think he's been living the last uh, few years in Los Angeles. But uh, as Scott Smith says, he was kind of the leader of the invasion of the Philippine players. He was the first one to come over from uh, the Philippines. Uh, yes, he was, and uh, he's won almost every kind of tournament. There's the win over here since he's been here. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago, and he won Player of the Year on that Camel Pro Billiards Tour. What was that, uh, 97, 98? 97 or 98, 98, I think. Or nine, maybe it was 97. Yeah, I think it was 97. But uh, he ended up first place on the uh, Camel Pro Billiards Tour, so... Uh, that's a pretty tough tour to be number one on. Yeah, that's that was a tough tour, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. It sure was. It came down between him and Buddy. And uh, they buddy, had to play each other. Yeah, and Buddy ended up second for that the, year. For the title, and uh, the match went right down to the wire almost. Mm -hmm. Well, Alex has won the lag. He's racked the balls up and getting ready to break. Uh, now him and Corey are good friends. You suppose he's going to break the way Corey did? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, he's in the winner's bracket, and uh, I don't look for the same break here. Yeah, what Howard's talking about. Ooh, yeah, I like that break. Well, well, that, look at this position. I think Corey would take that break if he could get it. <clears throat> yeah, I take this one every time. Man, yeah. he made a ball, and it looks like he uh, looks like he can get uh, at least uh, three, five, six balls here minimum. It looks like he get the 13, 12, 1, 14, and nine. Uh, at least it's possible, anyway, huh, Howard? Absolutely. Uh, it looks like he's, uh, I don't know if he's going to shoot this one and kind of knock something out and draw it back and get on a 13, or if he's going to go ahead and shoot 13. If he does that, he might run eight and out here, but uh, he can, it's a little bit of a gamble if he fails to draw back. Yes, it is. I right? think I might try to get all six, but it's hard to say. If I was a little closer to that one, I would. Uh, uh -huh. He has to elevate a little. Absolutely. Uh, he did pack to 13, and I guess he's going to get on that 12 now, but he might decide to come around the corner, but I don't think so. I think he'd go down for the 12. 12's not absolutely on the rails. He's got room for error down there. Now, do you take the 9 first or the 14? I would come around and uh, play for the 9 first, but uh, if I got out of position, I'd have maybe have the 14 left. But he may come into those balls here, but uh, perhaps not. Uh, he's he going went for a rail straight in. It's not real good here, though. No, it's not. <coughs> I would. I well, it, it was the angle he got there. I might come around at a shorter angle on that. And I was talking about going for the nine first to uh, come up and try to get the right angle. I think what I would do here, Howard, is uh, he's got this shot on the nine. Uh -huh. I think what I would do, Howard, is uh, when I played the nine, is try to stop the cue ball here and bank this three ball. That looks, like, that looks like a good shot, like a real good shot. But he's because, young, and he's got that young, loose arm. He might uh, force that ball down there or something, you know? Well, the only thing, if he can make that 14 without the cue ball touching that 2 and swing around for the 3-5, mm -hmm. that's pretty good, too. But I don't know if you can miss that 2 coming around. Right. Well, he, he, now, I would draw back here if the seven don't go, Howard. I would draw back a little bit for the 14. Well, no, he's he, going to shoot the 14 right now. I can't fault that. Well, no, but if he could bank that three, he could play the one five or the five 14 combo. Let's see. Uh, boy, he hit that with good control speed. Woo. Oh, man, he's good on this 3-5. I kind of look for him to get to all eight here. What about you, Howard? Uh, yeah, he might He fell nice on that 3-5, huh? Yes, he, fell, he, he did fall real good on it. Uh, he gets those. Uh, he's got himself a winner. 
Okay, what he's he's lining up there is the cue ball into the three, and he's trying to make the five in that pocket right there. Mm-hmm. Hey, he's got it down in the house. <coughs> and his opponent uh, <clears throat> looks like he can help him out, but uh, didn't have much else. Well, that's pretty good, break and run six with the seventh one hanging up. I'd that like is. to start that game every time. That's I, a real good touch. Oh, Zay, he's in a spot here where I don't know really aggressively. He can't do very much except pocket this five and maybe freeze him on the back of the stack. But Yeah. Yeah, that's about uh, about it. Uh, I don't see him knocking that five out of there uh, with, you know, any kind of control where he can't leave him uh, something pretty good. Well, Jose dropped, drew it up that side a little bit. <coughs> Maybe keep him from... Uh, From going off at 11, uh, leaving him up the table or something, but uh, looks like Alex uh, may have to uh, uh, loosen up the balls on Jose's side from there. But if he if he shoots at two, he might uh, help himself. And he did. He sure did. I think he wired the two and a for his pocket, so. Uh, Perico will probably tap into the four here and uh, take care of that dead one. Uh, yes, that uh, seems like the order of business. And uh, if, you, if the ball comes around, right, uh, that 11 and that 7, no, he, he chose to shoot the 11 and 7 now, which opens up on his side. And, Tell you uh, what, that's still dead. That's still dead. He might take a whack at it some way. Well, he's I looking think at that'd it. be a little more patient, though. Yeah. Uh, well, he <coughs> to make sure Perica doesn't have any, but anything that's dead in his pocket. But he looks like he might could hit that seven and leave him up the table a little bit. But uh, I don't know if he'll choose to do that or if he'll just leave him over there and protect the three. But he is going to shoot seven. Is he bunting this ball up here? Do you think he's going two rails? if he can hit that much of it. I can't tell really what he's doing. Yeah, he's, he's playing it for his hole. Wow. Yes, he did. He got, he got some inside on that ball, too. <coughs> he you know, it's tough to get that much inside on this, yeah, on this he, cloth. It's, slight, it's kind of slight. He did a lot on that, and uh, he keeps the pressure on Jose with that shot. He keeps the ball close to his hole. He's, uh, he figures since he can't get him up table, he might as well keep the pressure on Jose <laughs> here, and he should Absolutely. do it. This uh, we're at uh, Spot Shots Billiards in Portland, Maine for this match. This is a, a, a winner's bracket match. Uh, the winner of this match will be in the final of the winner's bracket. Uh, Jose just bunts that seven out and uh, sticks him up behind the pack. That was a terrific shot there, huh? Yes, it was. Takes care <coughs> of business now. Uh, Alex can go either way. He can, he can shoot toward his side of the table and come off the four or perhaps two, or he can come off of uh, the ball he stuck up against there. Uh, uh, it's one of the stripes. It's the 10 ball, and he just barely touched the 10. Now, Jose can make the same kind of shot, or uh, he might consider kicking that three over towards his side. And maybe sticking the cue ball over there. That gets the ball out of there, but all that, it, depending on where it gets, it may leave him a bank on that seven. You know, what I like here is hitting the 10 a little bit full and knocking that 11 over on my side and mm -hmm. trying to get some on my side of the table. See, if he had ball in, he'd have to almost bank it well. He mm -hmm. could play the seven, but I'd like to at least get one ball that goes in my pocket there. Mm hmm. <clears throat> and try to leave him over here about the first diamond. Well, Jose's thinking the same thing you're thinking, but in doing Ooh, a so... a little hard. He didn't want to go that far, I don't think. No, he didn't. But in doing so, also, he's lined up everything for Alex's pocket. 
and Alex can uh, maybe bank it down there and miss that side pocket, but he can also just thin that 11 and, and put him up there and that all, and make him pull, come off that end rail or something. I'll tell you what, Alex looks like he's maybe thinking about banking that 11, but you know, what I like better here is to chip the 11 toward the 7 and put him on the end rail right. pretty close to straight in on the 3. I like to keep that pressure because if you keep putting him in that spot where he doesn't have any banks or anything for his hoe, eventually you're going to get them balls up table and then he don't have much chance to win once they go up table. If you're way behind here, the shot might be to uh, to uh, chip that uh, 10 on the right side, but a little firm and aim it towards your pocket and try to put the cue ball behind 11 up there so you can get something headed towards your pocket. Boy, he hit that bank pretty Only good. He hit that about seven. This, he could, if this moves a 15, he could have left a shot there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, Jose's going to look at this 11 to see if it might be a dead kiss off the 10. He may be looking at the combo <coughs> bank on the three too. The 15 on the three, and move something in front of his hole. And if he and miss the kiss coming back, move that three over there and, and stick Alex right there beside that eight and two, maybe, maybe. I don't know if, he can, if he's got that shot, but it's a possibility. <coughs> or if he's got it, even if he can shoot it without getting a kiss. Well, Jose Perica at the table. Uh, he's trailing the first game of this uh, winner's bracket match. He's trailing seven to zero. Uh, Alex opened up with a run of six and hung up a seventh ball and Jose had to give it to him. Uh, so Jose really hasn't uh, shot at his hoe yet, Howard. No, he hasn't. He hadn't had, uh, he's trying to keep Alex off. And uh, he did shoot the 15, he but just he just tucked uh, the 15 in and uh, plus, the 11, the banks, plus the 11 banks. Plus uh, 11 banks. He's uh, he's managed to keep the balls down the table, hasn't he? Yes, he has. <coughs> I think if I was Alex here, I'd go ahead and start moving him up table here. He what can about do that. you, Howard? Well, he can do that. If he wants to be aggressive, he can bank that 3-1 rail and send the cue ball way up the table. But he's got to consider hitting the, hitting the 7 on the way back down. But uh, he hits him pretty good. And, uh, you know, I think he might be thinking about that shot as he thinks about coming off the 11. No, he's thinking about the 3. Yeah, you know? I think you're right. Boy, he's thinking offense all the way here. He may be thinking of coming three rails, too. I can't see exactly what he's doing, but he's thinking something. No, he's hitting the one rail. He definitely cut it enough. Now yes, watch he did. it, boy. This ball, that's close. that may go. That's very close. And that's uh, oh. Alex uh, Pagulan uh, wins the first game and uh, leads the match 1-0. And uh, all the matches here in, uh, at the World One Pocket Championships in Portland, Maine are a race to four. So uh, Alex holds his break. Uh, he broke the first game. Uh, he held it. And uh, now let's see what happens with Jose, Howard. Yeah, Jose gets the break. Gets to rack him up for himself. He gets the break. And uh, maybe he'll make a ball on the break. I tell you what, I saw him playing uh, the other night. They found one of his matches with George Sansusi, and uh, he made a ball on the break against George. Mm -hmm. uh, he was breaking from the other side, the right side, and he mm -hmm. made a ball in his corner pocket. A good number of times? Just once. Just I mean. once? Well, he, may just, he may decide to uh, break over there. <clears throat> because George had a good chance to win the match, but what hurt George that match was uh, he broke three times and left Jose a uh, shot every time when mm -hmm. he broke. Uh, he left Jose a shot on his break. Well, that's, that's tough to overcome that. Yeah, yeah, it puts a lot of pressure on you. Well, ooh. I'll well, tell you what, he went for the same pocket. He didn't fool around, and that two was headed that way again. Yes, it was. And I was uh, just played a match on this table, and I was breaking from the other side. I believe I'll move over to this side. <laughs> Howard's my next match. Yeah, this booth uh, <coughs> might become a valuable commodity. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, also, uh, if it, it, you might have been watching the two, but I was watching the cue ball, and it came dangerously close to that corner pocket. On that break on right that there. On that break right there. Now, what do you like here, Howard? Well, I'd like to get to that two some way, and I don't see uh, too many ways of doing that. Uh, the uh, 10 and the 11 line up for a combo bank in case you uh, you, let, you do make it and leave it over there. Uh, I can't get to the five. Uh, 
I'd kick one rail at that too. I think what well, I would well, do. Well, we're getting down to those options like that. Uh, I think what I would do is send this up right here and try to come down and just knock it in. And I'd like to see the cue ball die right here where the two's at. So at least if he makes a shot, it's going to have to be this combination bank over here. At least I'd hate to fall down here where I left him a shot where he could hit the 11 and smack a stack yeah. and maybe luck something in spread out the whole rack. Well, if you, if you leave him down down here where you're talking, the, com the combination bank, he can get that cue ball up right between uh, the 15 and the four in this he's going to have a good shot this is a tough out and if he kicks at this ball uh one rail he doesn't have to uh make it he can hang it up i mean it, it's uh it's he's in a bad position here it's it's, it's not even a, a shot where he can take a scratch but i just saw one other safety is coming off the rack thin off 13 and putting him up in that corner up there uh say come <coughs> over here like this and and go up here somewhere Oh, that's a that's, that's another a, uh, that's a option. Nice option too. Or that, if he's afraid nice he can't option. get there, he can just roll it up there and take a scratch. But uh, that might be what he's doing. Only he's yeah. just going to stone take a foul. He, he took is uh, taking no chance. He chances. got the same results as what you're talking about, Howard. He just I don't blame him. It doesn't look like too much goes in this rack, and uh, mm -hmm. I think I think that's uh, I think that's a real good choice. Mm-hmm. Now, what I what I like here is playing the the, the eleven and trying to get get the cue ball up here around the uh, third diamond. You're talking uh, about get that. this eleven and and, mm -hmm. and get it up uh -huh. here. And mostly, I'm not so concerned about where the eleven goes. If I could just get the 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 white ball in this area right here, mm -hmm. uh, then That's I a would good be option. real happy. That's a good option. Uh, what do you like? Well. That's one of his few options. Uh, he may uh, think about hitting the 13 and going off the uh, the rack this way and putting the cue ball right back over here where it was. He can consider that, and it looks like he knocks that 7 down there. But if he can hit that at 11, like you said, and follow it up there, he's got a full shot at it. That's a good shot. But, you, but if he comes up short, <clears throat> he could be in trouble. And, yeah, and the other shot, you got to hit it pretty hard. Now I don't even know what he's doing here. He's shooting, hitting he's, the one. I'm gonna stick. Well, oh boy, we did. Neither one of us seen that, and I like that. that real well. Huh? Oh, that was a good shot. Did you see that one? I did see it. Boy, what a great shot that was. I, I missed that, that totally. That but boy, I like that one better than anything we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were looking for something. He found something better than we, what we were looking boy, at. He sure did. He sure did find something better. Boy, what a terrific shot that is, because now he's got, before, if he got ball in hand, he'd have a hard time running four or five balls. Now he can almost run out the game. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of them loose and seven, eight, nine balls loosen up. Well, you know something? Alex might have to take another scratch up there or stick him right there. Well, he can't hardly stick him right there. Uh, it was too many things for him to shoot. Uh, he may you have know, to put it back up take, table. Yeah. I think that is the shot. I think Alex should go back up table. But what happens if he takes a foul? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> then right now, uh, Alex is going to freeze him up against that one. Not, oh, no, uh, he didn't take a foul. But did he leave him a shot on the one, eight, and two? Yes, I'd, I'd say he. I think uh, he may play this. Uh, yeah. He's right here. I think he's going to hit. I think he's going to hit the one into the eight real soft and try to make this two. That's maybe one option, and he'll have to bump that three a little bit to do that. Yeah, he might, but he could also could maybe park that cue ball right beside that seven and put him on top of that three. He's looking at it yeah, anyway. He, he, I don't know exactly what he can do, but he's got a couple of options. He's got shape here, though. That looks like he's yeah. got to bump the three to get shape. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I think he's still a little bit tough. He's got to play the 9-8 now. Yeah, a little bit tough, but uh, uh, he's got a chance, and he likes it. He's going to shoot at he it. Can, watch how soft he rows this. He's mm -hmm. taking advantage of the big, big pocket. Uh, mm -hmm. He shot that perfect speed, huh? Mm-hmm. And now, uh, well, he's got a couple, and I see uh, at least six there for him, and if you get across the table, there's a couple more. He's got a chance to get out. Which is the next ball, though? Uh, Five. Well, well, I think I ever, apparently the one ball might go. The one, I don't think. Does it's the one close. go? Oh, yeah, you're right. It does go. Boy, on the monitor, it looks well, like it's now, blocked now, off he, there. He's going for the five and get over there for the 10-11. <clears throat> he's going for those right now. 
which is not a bad option. You're shooting balls from your opponent's side, leaving the ones on your side. Well, one thing, when you shoot a ball that pocket speed that he just shot at the one just barely creeping to the pocket, it's pretty hard to miss it. You know what I mean? At it that speed. It absolutely is on these tables. <clears throat> when you've got to snap it, all of a sudden, uh, you've got to be a little more precise if you shoot it with a lot of speed. Yes, you do. And uh, anytime you roll it, you've got a much better chance of uh, making it on any kind of equipment. Put the, put the pipe on slidey cloth, and the pocket's a little, excuse me, a little big. It, uh, Jose Perica, he's major. on a five ball run. He's got position on the 11. Looks like he's going to try to come up for the 14 and the one. Good shot. Well, Jose, uh, if he can make these last two balls, Howard, he hasn't wasted any time. Boy, how incredible was that shot he played there. Boy, did that yield the results there? When he stuck him in the stack, that was it. Jose Perica bounces right back. He ties this match up. Uh, Jose Perico won. Alex Pagulian won. And uh, boy, <coughs> two exciting and fast games. It was two quick games. Well, Alex has uh, got a chance. Uh, to make a ball on the break again. And uh, Jose had it close. Alex made one, uh, and they're both breaking in that same pocket. And, uh, Dang, he made that ball again. Yes, he did. And look, the, the ball didn't Is come close to him. Is that six ball dead him. there? Well, if that's six ball dead, he's going to open up every ball in the rack, Howard. Yes, he will. Boy, I think that is close. It's very close. That is close. You think he's going to shoot it with a 9 or a 15? Wow. We've seen three breaks now, and uh, Alex has made the uh, corner ball both times on his two breaks, and Jose just left it an inch or two away. Right. Man. Yeah, and I haven't seen anybody else doing this. It's, but it's funny how uh, two guys are playing, the balls roll one way, two other guys get on the table, and uh, the rack's different. I think it's just a, uh, everybody racks the balls a little bit different. Yeah, I think there's uh, a lot of truth to what you're saying. It seems like strange things happen. Of course, I was, I just played on this table, but boy, I was breaking from the opposite side. I can see I was breaking from the wrong side. <laughs> well, now, uh, you notice that Alex didn't get that 15 down there. And uh, when <coughs> Jose broke, that 15 came down toward the other pocket. So. Uh, yeah, he had two balls over there. Mm -hmm. uh, two balls loose uh, down below the rack on. Well, he shot it and it went. And uh, the racks open up. If he can get a shot here and get position. I think I mean, he's going to have to play the 10 here and maybe go across for the three. Yeah, maybe draw it a little bit up and <coughs> maybe even hit that 14 a little bit. Uh, so he's, uh, if he can get a good position on one of these balls to, oh, well, yeah. he may have to move that 11 for these others go. Now, I would say he may be coming over for the three. Yeah, he bumps the three. two. Well, now he can come down for 11, go up for one of those balls to get behind the stack, go up for the 14 or the two, and then he can go over, uh, you know, three, 11. And if he gets the right angle on 11, he might uh, draw it in between some of those balls. But I kind of like stopping short here on the 11 where I could maybe uh, draw straight through him or go one rail between like the 7, 12. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Uh, he's going down low, so he yeah, just gets right going straight on up. up, isn't he? Boy, you got to find a good angle on this two ball, though. Here. Yeah, or go up uh, for the fifth, for the 14, Teen. and come back cross, play in between them. Uh, and the 14, the pocket side pocket doesn't affect the 14. It's it's blow it. But he's going off the rail in between. I thought he might draw straight Tell up. Tell you what, him. he's getting a little straight on this too. He's, yes, uh, he is. He, uh, he's going to have trouble recovering uh, on this shot. He might have to draw back and then cut to four. No, he's going for it right now. He's uh, he is gonna make cutting four. the 14 and going to come across the table for the nine. I like making the two first before I shoot this shot. Oh, he overcut that. Yeah. I like making the two and then shooting that shot. <coughs> I think he missed that ball trying to make sure he didn't hit that two. Well, he had a chance to get out there. Yeah, that's Another. an interesting uh, 
insight on your part, Howard. Uh, make the two, because uh, you know if all you got to do is make it and draw back a foot or so, mm -hmm. then you can play that tougher shot, and you got one more ball too. He's got five balls. Big difference between five and six, you know, because if Jose makes a ball here, he's going to try to sneak his nine in off of 15 to 12, and he did it, and man, now he's going to just about probably even up the game here. Yes, even up the game. He, he's certainly going to get back in it and might win it from here. Well, if he gets that uh, five, 13, eight apart, he's going to come close. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't see a ready-made break shot there for him unless he comes around and gets on the 12 right now at an angle where he can draw it back into those balls and then shoot the seven ball next in case he doesn't get a shot. Well, <clears throat> he could draw back and try to get that angle where he can draw into the 13 and 5 mm -hmm. with that 12 sitting there too. But Yeah. Uh, he's oh, coming he's going across. This way. Oh, wow, did he? Oh, oh he got man, it. he might have got it. Wow. He made a good shot. If that five goes, he's in business, Howard. Yeah, I think he goes. Because right there, he's got two balls, and there's five more right there. He just needs either the one or the two. And if that five didn't go, I believe the 13 does. He's going up there for it Tell right now what, for he's something. He's a little bit easy here. He, he, that, uh, I don't even know. He must have been playing for the seven there. I think he was coming around, but he hit it too hard or too easy, you know. But he's easy to do. Oh yes, easy to do. Ooh, he jumped a little bit. Yes, though. he did. He Man. was uh, feeling the heat a little bit, making sure he got <laughs> past, got past that. <laughs> well, I know he's going to be straight in on that 14 when he got done. <laughs> Sometimes that'll give you a case of the jumps. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess this 13 goes. He's going to yeah, run out of Yeah, five, eight, nine, ten. He's got five. So yeah, the game's he just tied needs up. a seven, eight, and 13. And uh, boy, what a turnaround in this game. It looks like uh, Alex had complete control and uh, he overcut that 14. And boy, Jose is really punishing him for that yes, mistake. He is. Big time, boy! I didn't think he'd lose a game from there without getting back to the table, did no. you? No, 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 not quite. Boy, Jose made just a beautiful. How about that opening shot he made there, where he banked that ball, kissed it off the 12, and right in the hole, it opened up everything. Nice, nice shooting, and he broke out of serve. Now he gets to break. It. Yeah, he won the game, and uh, Jose Perica pulls into the lead, two games to one. And uh, plus, he has that break again, and you can bet he's going to be trying to make that corner ball. He's watched oh. Alex make it twice. Oh, absolutely. He's going to be going <coughs> after 100%. I tell you what, this has been just uh, some uh, pretty, uh, it doesn't get much better than that. Three games, three eights and out just about, huh? Absolutely. This has been offense all the way. It has been. This is quick action. Well, you'll notice that when the players make a mistake, when the balls are still on this half of the table, that uh, you're playing a good player and all those balls are on this end of the table. You, It's a volatile game, and uh, a lot of players are going to run that eight and out on you, and uh, they're going to punish you if you make a mistake. I didn't think that Alex had made that big of a mistake uh, when he missed a 14, but boy, when Jose made that bank. He, uh, yeah, he came with that, he <coughs> made that shot. He saw it, he went for it, and it worked out for him. And even if he had missed it, he had Alex in trouble. Watch the three ball. Let's see if it goes again. Uh, it, no. Oh, look at the 12, Howard. Boy. Look at the 12. The 12 came out here. Yes, it, it's been coming out over there. Uh, when Jose's been breaking now, just think if Alex would have won last game and Jose would have broke like this. Alex has been ahead 2-1 to one, instead of been behind 2-1 to one, and working on number three. I tell you where I'd like Big to be here. Big 14 ball, wasn't it? Oh, boy, you talk about a huge ball, that 14. Uh, your advice on shooting the two, <coughs> I think, was uh, really insightful because uh, 
then he might have not missed the 14 from that angle. I'd like to be about where the one's at here. I'd try to make his 12 and maybe hit the one and stop and get an angle where I could maybe get the yeah. rest of those balls loose. Yeah, it looks like he's got plenty of, uh, of room there. If he can get over there and shoot to 11 and bump that uh, 15, then you get to 10. Oh, he missed it. Oh, you, well, I'll tell you what, you called it. He put it right just about where that one ball was. Now, he can also come back up to table and bank that one a little later. Can he draw and back and play the 10 and uh, then uh, use outside English uh, after he plays the 11, cut the 10 into the same, uh, into the corner and then uh, draw, uh, when he cuts a 10 in, hit the 8 and spin above him and maybe get a shot on the 6 or 14, you think? Or maybe. Maybe he can. Or do you think he should play this? Look at this combo. Now, if if, if I See that was in this situation, straight. if I wasn't jacked up, I would shoot that combo right now. Well, he's looking at the combo. But, boy, I hate to shoot that kind of when it's uh, elevated because, boy, if you miss this, uh, you're history. Well, he might, he might back, decide to back up and bank that one. But he's got to think about it. if he didn't make that one, it leaves him a bank on the uh, nine. If it, if, but if it's hanging in the pocket, you've got, got a lot of trouble. But the way Jose is pocketing the balls, he banks that nine. He, he'll be in position to run out. Okay, yeah. Alex is going after a tough shot here. Oh, and wow. He made what a, a nice beautiful shot. shot. Really beautiful, critical key shot in this match because if he misses that, Howard, chances are he's going to be down three to one. Mm, yes, he is. That was a real pressure shot there. Yeah, and now he's, uh, can he come up for that eight and get in the middle there where that eight goes some way? If not, uh, he's still not got a bunch of gimmies here. I can't tell if that four goes. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, that four is close. I can't uh, tell if that four goes by that 14. Now. And it's tough from this angle to tell, too. Uh, but that, that one, well, you can shoot the, the 11, maybe get the 15, or, uh, and that's what he's looking at. But the one ball's still there for a bank, but uh, when he banks it, I don't know what his second shot would be after that. You know, if he, when he makes the 11 and 15, then gets on the one. But I still don't see anything that's ready unless that eight ball goes, and he maybe can shoot that eight ball after all those balls. Okay. Well, he's got over here where he can do some, where he's got a good angle and come over this way. Hard for him to get out of there though, Howard. It's yes, hard it to, is. If the, if the forward don't go, it must go, but boy, I tell you what, you almost gotta be a magician to get uh, around all them balls on this side of the left side of the table to get well, on that four if, ball. If he calls, if he comes short, if the eight ball goes, he's got a little room to work with. He can try to hit the two or hit the seven and knock something around. And if he can't get on the eight, then he knock the, the one over there. Uh, if he gets a bank, it'd be tough to cross bank it and miss that eight or miss that three. Uh, he's, uh, he's going up there for the eight. Uh, I don't know what he's done. Looks like he got up a little close to that five. And he, if he is, he's in a bad spot. Well, Monon got the things. He might have to shoot this one in for him. Look on the monitor. Oh, yes. Uh, well, the five, he does have... Uh, I don't know what he was doing there, Howard, because it don't look like anything goes. Yeah, it doesn't look like the eight it goes at doesn't all. Look. And uh, I have no idea what he was. Uh, I don't know. He must have been playing maybe bank shape on the one or something. And he looks like he can get to the three, though. Yeah, he's trying to hit the three. and. Uh, well, he got him up there. He's but he done pretty good. Up. but uh, He left him something on his 13. Tell you what, I think Jose's going to hit the six with I left English and spin off the rail. And if he makes it, uh, he's liable to run out. Think so? These are the type of shots I don't know. I can't tell if he can cut that six enough or if the interfering, if that eight interferes with the ability to cut that eight. He might, that shot might not be there because the eight could be too much in the way mm -hmm. where he can't cut the six enough. Well, now there it is. Now you can see it now. I believe he does have a shot on it. <coughs> it's very boy, close. I like going for shots where if you make them, you can uh, win the game by Well, he's got it. a clear shot on his 13 to bank it back down this way and hide the cue ball. Now, it doesn't look like he's going to make something, but Ken knocks something down by his pocket. Yeah, well, it's a great shot just to play defense and, uh, but and if put he gets, the pressure on. 
if he gets it in between the nine and the side pocket and comes down towards that three, now he's got a real good shot, chance of, of knocking that three down there. It looks like he's got enough angle to do that where he can control that cue ball and, and hit down on that three. He's looking at a, a more narrow angle than that, though. But these tables go wide a little bit, so you know it makes that shot a little bit better. Maybe looking at, at banking that nine back down there if he's got room too. Well, I think he looks like he's going to go all the way to the end rail with this. He's going to try that 13 and uh, put some distance between. Uh, yes, he did. The cue ball and the object balls and. Uh, but you know, I thought it, I thought he might angle that ball a little bit more to make sure he got behind, but maybe the side pocket was there or something. But uh, make sure you try to knock that three on down there in the jaws. But Alex is uh, looking I at the seven. I just would roll the seven. I wouldn't elevate on this shot. Well, I can roll the seven. I can roll the two. The seven is a little closer to the pocket. You got to make sure you're more accurate, and the and, and the two is a little safer in that uh, on that point. But uh, you love leaving the bank on the thirteen a little better bank on the thirteen. Yeah, you could bump at eight two. I don't. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know. But at, why at is he elevating? I don't. Oh, he's going to try to hit it hard and get something on his side of the table. Uh huh. But he decided to go with a conservative yes, approach. He did. Yes, he did. And now. Uh, and I can't say that I blame him. Preka doesn't want to shoot this six if he doesn't have to because it's not dead and it is going to his pocket. Now well, he might if he be didn't able shoot to. it before. I don't like it from down here because making it from down here is yeah. asking a lot. I mean, uh, he was up a foot higher. Yeah. Before, where well, uh, I'm, I'm talking about just moving that six out of oh. there, you know, playing safe. I don't think he wants to do that, but he looks like he's shooting the six, and he did shoot the six. He just uh, he, he didn't just care nothing it, about uh, it, did he? He just uh, trying to keep the balls on his side of the table because Alex has opened up with a four ball run in this game. After Jose broke, he left him a shot on the opening ball, and. Uh, Alex ran four balls, and uh, now Jose has got the balls where they're in uh, a very dangerous position for Alex should he mm -hmm. make a mistake because uh, he can get right back in the match if not run completely out. So Alex, uh, he's at the table, and uh, he's intense, he's focused, and he just wants to be sure he don't turn Jose <laughs> loose. <laughs> he absolutely doesn't want to do that. Yeah, I tell you what. Now, except for that six, I kind of like playing the eight off the four here now uh -huh. and bank that uh, eight from my pocket. The only thing that makes me a little hesitant on that shot is it's hard not to give him a shot on that six down the table. Also, as that, as that four comes flying back down the table, it may hit short and hit that six coming down. Yeah, you're right. I think... Uh, Howard, the best shot here is just cut the six and don't worry about where the six goes on your side of the table, but just get the cue ball about the first diamond down there. What do you think? That looks pretty good. Where uh, Alex shot that long shot a while ago on what was it, the four or the two? Or the seven. Seven. But you know, uh, if he leaves him down there, he can come off of the eight or the four. Looks like pretty good. But uh, Jose's moving the ball down here trying to put something a little closer to his pocket. And also from, from that angle there, uh, that becomes a scratch shot. His, it, off that four and that eight become a more of a scratch shot. Uh, I don't know what Alex can do here. It's, he's in a tough spot. But um, there's something, he can find something in here. Well, he's basically, it looks like to me, one option is he, if he wants to, uh, Gin it up a little bit. He can take that 13-1 out, but mm -hmm. boy, he's got a that's force. a little risky if he gets a kiss. I like this option better. And he's got the force. Only foul danger there. here, you can't lose that cue ball in the corner pocket. Yes, you do. Man, he got it in between the, the one and the pocket. That's a good what shot. nice control, huh? Nice control. Very nice control. Now, Jose's going to hit the four and probably take him all the way up table. Yeah, right? you got to be careful. You don't scratch. Ooh, he, <laughs> look at him. Uh, that yeah. better stop there. No, it's not going to stop. He uh, he shot that dead ball at the uh, you know, straight forward cue ball, and uh, he got it in the pocket. Okay. Uh, 
Alex gets an unexpected opportunity here. He has four balls already. Jose just scratched. He owes the ball. He put the coin on the wrong side of the yes, table, Howard. <laughs> I thought he did for a minute. I was six and say. You know, I had something happen to me today that I've never seen happen before. I owed a ball. I had the coin like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was shooting, I was shooting a two rail shot where I was leaning over a corner like mm -hmm. this. And that was the pocket I had to make the ball in. I knocked the coin off and the ball came around two rails and it hit the point and hit the coin and dropped in the hole. Well, <laughs> Dick Weaver jumped out of his chair. He said, what's the ruling on that one? I said, well, tell you the truth, it hasn't come up before. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we asked uh, Grady Matthews for a ruling and the way Grady ruled, it wasn't a foul, but had to replace the ball about where it would have ended up and I lost my turn. Hmm. Well, but evidently I knocked that coin off when I was leaning over the shot. Mm -hmm. OK, Alex is playing for three balls. He's got a great shot on the eight, but the uh, the last two look like a little hard, huh, Howard? Yes, they do. Uh, He's, uh, Can you creep between the 13 and the 1, try to get a shot for the, uh, or do you just play for the bank well, on the 1? Uh, how about drawing it back for the 2? An oh, outside is he pocket, straight sir? enough to do that? I thought he was coming down well, the table he's, uh, a little. He's, uh, it's pretty straight. It's just an option. Uh, he might just stop there and bank that 1. No, he's coming oh, over for no, the 13. Oh, my oh, goodness. How'd he hit what that a one? nice touch that was. Ooh. He hit that pretty sporty. Okay, Alex. Uh, is uh, is playing for two. Uh, he's got a great position shot. He played there. What a nice control and touch. And if he makes his 13, he'll probably bank the one for the winning ball. And uh, pretty good position, uh, Howard. Yes, it is. And, and if he wins this game, they'll each have broke each other's serve. And uh, that's important. Yeah. And, Shows them uh, both they can win without breaking. He's made a ball every time he's broke. Yes, he has. In his pocket. And uh, Alex Pagulian ties up a score with Jose Perica, and it's all knotted up at 2-2. Two -two and uh, Okay, now, I've got a question for you, Nick. You used to talk about the foul with the coin. What would happen if you're shooting and you knock the chalk on the table and the ball comes by and hits it? I don't know what the ruling on that is. I thought that might be some kind of foul. And I don't know, and, and since it happened with a coin, I think that would run under the same heading, but uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know either. Yeah, I, I never had it come up with either one before. That's the first time. The coin's a little harder to see. If I'd seen a piece of chalk here, I'd probably grabbed it out of the mm -hmm. way. But the coin uh, is a little harder to see, you know? Yeah, well, yeah, it is. But the uh, ruling is is interfering with the moving ball. But uh, I tell you the truth, I don't know. I have to ask Grady that. That's an interesting question you got there. And uh, well, man, alive. Uh, he made it again. That's three times in a row. Wow, that's wow. incredible error. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. It's a little hard to win if your opponent does that every time. It huh? sure is. And this score's uh, knotted up at two apiece. And uh, he, he breaks and makes the ball. And uh, he just beats you on your break, and you got a break next time. <laughs> it's looking that a little Boy, blue. he's got them. Uh, he could run out real easy here. That 11, 14th wired, and uh, the 8. Uh, I see uh, seven balls, and then uh, maybe wind it up with the 2-4. Or he might even get them before, but that 2-4 is laying pretty good. Um. Yes, it is. He's got balls out there. He's got uh, a good five more. Maybe the 2 and the 4 to go with them. Okay, Alex Pagline has made the corner ball three times in a row, and uh, Jose Perica's got to be pulling his hair out after watching that, huh? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. That scratch is, uh, he's getting tortured for that, isn't he? Yes, he is. And you got to remember when, when Jose broke last time, he left Alex a shot yeah. in his pocket directly in there.
I'm just going to play the combination here and just draw back and go for the 11. Or if he gets in, in, in good position, he might shoot the four from the next shot. Uh, I don't know if he was thinking about it or not, but if it, if it had been up there just a little better, he might be able to shoot the four next and come around for the 11, or at least left 11 where, where it is. Yeah, he may have trouble getting all the way out here now because he can't get to one next. Uh -huh. He's got five. He needs three, four, eight, ten. He needs three. He's going up the table for the one. Is he going up for the one? Well, he might get out there. Yeah, if he shoots a one next, then he can come across and... It's pretty easy to fall on that 2-4 this mm -hmm. way. Oh, yeah. He can, uh, he can get a shot. Well, he pocketed that one nice. He's coming over for the 2-4, and I believe he got there. Looks like okay. he's got plenty of room to make it. <coughs> Alex Pagulan is playing for one, and if he makes it, he'll pull in the lead and get on the hill in this match. A uh, race to four, he'll be leading three games to two, and it'll be Jose's break. And uh, Jose wonders what I've did wrong here. Uh, he hasn't played that bad or anything, but Alex has made that corner ball three times in a row. That is hard to overcome. That is hard to overcome, especially when the guy gets position and the ability to run eight. Absolutely. So uh, Alex runs eight and out uh, behind making the corner ball. And uh, it looked like uh, Jose was really the favorite last game, the way the balls was rolling. Uh, uh, even though Alex had a four ball lead, uh, Jose really had a strong threat going until the cue ball found the pocket on his uh, safety. Mm -hmm. Okay, this has uh, been uh, Alex Pagulan's route uh, so far up to uh, Jose. He beat Johnny Ervolino 4-2. to two. Then he beat McAdams 4-2. to two. Then he beat Thomas 4-1. to one. And uh, then he had one hill-hill game with Richie Richardson 4-3. So, uh, okay, Jose Perica has uh, played one less game, it looks like. He evidently got a bye the first round, and it looked like uh, he beat LeBron 4-3. to three. Then the match before, he beat uh, San Susi 4-2, to two, and then uh, beat you on the hill. Yes, he did. Put you in the loser's bracket, huh, Howard? Yes, he did. Did he play real good on you? Uh, yes, he played good. He, I got some chances early. It's my first match or second match, and I got some chances early, but uh, late late on, uh, he played better. And uh, I don't remember how exactly how the match went, but I think that uh, I should have won the first two, or maybe I did win the first two. You know, I think that is right. I won the first two and could have won the third one, but I didn't. And he, I think he won three, then I tied it up, and then he won. I think that's the way it went. Or, or maybe I only got to two. What was our score there, did you? Four to three. Four to three? Yeah. yeah, I think I did tie it up, and it went to the hill. Uh, those are tough games to lose when you lose those on the hill. Mm -hmm. Boy, aren't they tough? Well, yes, they are, and, and Jose has abandoned that side of the table and gone yeah, to the other side. he broke for the other pocket. Boy, that takes a lot of nerve, huh? It sure does. After yeah. watching Alex. Uh, well, what Jose could, uh, I think the reason he did it was not where the ball was going over this pocket, but he was leaving Alex a shot over there. Yeah, the last time he broke, he left him a shot about like the eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, when he broke for this other pocket, and Alex is trying to figure out how to get that eight out of there. I tell you, you know, this is maybe off the wall, Howard, but how you like this shot? <laughs> Look at this one. I want to show you one here. Okay. You cut to 10 in here where the 8 goes up here, and then the 10 swings around two rails out of there, and then draw the cue ball off the 10 around this way and try to leave him down here straight in on the 5. Well, that's, uh, that's a uh, complicated shot. Uh, I don't know what he's doing here. He may be trying to make, well, he did something similar. 
he made the 15 and just ran it over there. But he did do something with that ball and got it out of the pocket. He opened up some more balls, though. And uh, yes, he did. Jose, if he can pocket a bank here uh, on this eight, he could uh, win the game. This is a critical bank here. Uh, uh, I think Jose needs to come with this one because uh, he might even have a shot on this 12. I can't tell, but I think the the stripe here close to Alex's hoe may be blocking that 12 on the bank. Uh, yeah, it may be. But I he's like got to shoot this so hard, though, to get the cue ball over here between the 110 or over to the side rail. Well, he hit it pretty pure, I think. Yes, he Boy, did. Boy, how good was that shot. Wow. He hit that shot good. Why and, don't these uh, guys ever miss her? It don't look like it. <clears throat> <clears throat> There's not much missing going on here, is there? Not much. Boy, they. Tell you what, they're putting on a shot making performance here. Yes, they are. This has been a clinic on how to run out of one pocket this match. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't well, been a whole lot of defensive work in this one, huh? Nope, these uh, guys are. Uh are both shooting at their pocket. He must have fell really tough on this 12. Yeah, I thought I he had so. the angle to go up for the 13, but he's trying to get over for the 10, but now he's, I guess he's going to have to, unless he's got something that kisses off in the stack, he's going to mm -hmm. have to maybe bank the one, but I think the 13 might have that pocket blocked on the bank on the one. He's well, looking at the stack to see maybe if he can kiss one thing. Well, if he stops the cue ball right there, he's, he's got a fairly safe shot. I mean, if he, if he can put, uh, miss everything going down and put that one down by his pocket. Yeah, if he can keep that 13 and that 3 and the cue ball on the same line, mm -hmm. I'd want to be sure I didn't let him hit that 13. Well, if he can stop it right there and just back it up a hair, he might yeah. completely block that 13. And if you get that one down there, uh, in order to knock 13 out, then you got to angle that three, and it just the shot doesn't work out so sweet. But uh, he may have something that kisses in he there. Keeps he's looking, looking at, at this seven ball. Uh huh. Kissing off the two. Uh, uh huh. But evidently he don't like it. Either that, or he's looking at it for the next shot in case this, <laughs> just in case this ball goes in. Looks like he's going to try to draw it back he down the hill. I like the angle this is on. Yeah, but you know, well, he might catch the side pocket, but he can go ahead and angle it and draw the cue ball into the side rail and let it settle down behind that, that uh, 10 there. And, okay, uh, a little bit of indecision here on the part of Jose. Boy, Perica. he hit that ball pretty careful and pretty good. Oh, my goodness, what a nice touch. <clears throat> you see how he drew that ball straight down towards there? You got to have a, you got to make sure you have a real good touch to do that. That was a great touch there. What a what a nice shot. I mean, that didn't have much room, did it, Howard? No, coming it didn't. by that 13. Uh, no, it didn't. He just threaded the needle with that bank, and uh, so Jose opened up with three balls and uh, and uh, hung up the one, or I guess he made he made two, didn't he? Because Alex made the first one for him. Oh uh, yeah, well he's got three safe. at any rate. He's got three, and he have a hunch he's about to get four. Yeah, I believe, <laughs> I believe he's going to do that. If he don't, this probably will be a short game. <laughs> well, Alex has left him right there. Uh, I don't know what he's protecting against. Uh, maybe Jose kicking at the 10, but I don't. Uh, I don't see a lot of percentage in doing that. Maybe so. You couldn't get me to kick at this 10. I, I might even mm -hmm. just shoot it in and block the stack uh, in the, uh, where he can't hit the 13, get it up about a diamond and a half. He may try to uh, <coughs> just hit that 9 thin and not leave a shot on that 13. And, and it looks like he's got an angle to do that, but, but that's, a, that's a touchy shot. I kind of like just making that stripe. He might be doing that. And you're, you picked a but, shot real uh, good there. But uh, he did he cut off? Uh, I think he can hit the 13 there. If he did, he might have left him a free shot. He can run into the five, kill the cue ball, and then he's got position on the three. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the 14 goes two. Uh, this could be dangerous here if he can bank this 13 toward his hole. Yes, it could be. I don't know if that green stripe has got him blocked off. Can you tell? Uh, 
Uh, I think he can see the full ball. Looks to me like, but as you can see, he's got an angle going up the table. He can't just cut loose. Is that green ball and that blue ball, uh, or is that a dead combo for uh, Jose? It's close. Well, that uh, that four and fourteen are pretty close to wire. Now here's another shot. He could bank that. Let me show you this one, Howard. Mm -hmm. He could bank this 13 and the cue ball cross over it over here. Well, mm -hmm. uh, forget it. It's over with now. But mm -hmm. I was going to show you one option I saw to be a little bit more aggressive. Cue ball go up and touch that five, maybe? Well, I thought you could maybe bank it and these two balls yeah, that were dead, it. that stripe, kiss it and try to make a 13 to mm -hmm. make it go toward your pocket and then get the cue ball up by the five and block with the stack. Mm -hmm. That had been a little bit more of an aggressive shot. It would be. <clears throat> he would have probably had some kind of bank over there off that six or three or, or that even that blue that uh, four ball could have rolled up there and blocked him. Well, that but, uh, nine looked close to kissing off the 11 for his pocket, but I guess Jose I was looking yeah. here to monitor. I don't know if he looked at that or not. Uh-huh. Okay, now he's coming all the way down. He's coming all the way. Boy, he don't want to leave him a bank on this ball. As a matter of fact, he may not want to leave him a kick on that 13. If, if he can, if he can kick it and uh, kick it down the rail and put him behind that stack, you know, it looked like to me that another option he had there was just cross that ball and leave the cue ball froze on the name plate that he didn't have to come back up table. Yeah. Oh, he's looking. Alex is looking at this 13 hard, and uh, I can't tell if he can shoot right at it. He can certainly go rail first, but looking on the monitor, it looks like he can hit the whole ball, but he may not be able to, to angle it enough to make it. Well, the problem with this shot is I don't know what you're going to make next if you make this, unless mm -hmm. that two, maybe 14-2, kisses off the seven or the nine. Well, he's going to roll it. And oh, he's on the dead defense here. Uh-huh. Well, he's just trying to get the 13 on his side and put the uh, pressure on Jose. Yeah, he'd be over there looking to see if he's going to leave him a bank on that six. Yeah, I think here I just bank a six over to my side and freeze him mm -hmm. on top of a couple balls. Uh, I'd try to get him maybe between the four and the seven where mm -hmm. he has trouble getting out of there without leaving me a shot. See, and now uh, where's he go here, Howard? He can't go there. Oh, wait a minute. He might have left wait him. A he didn't want that to fall because it might give Alex an opportunity to play safe off this ball and leave him in there. Mm -hmm. And he don't want to be in there either. No, he don't want to be in there. And if he if he can't do that, it can maybe come off of it thin and put Jose on the end rail. Then Jose will have a shot at his 13. Of course, that's awful close. I don't know. Can yeah. He's, uh, can he? Uh, well, oh, I think you're right. I think he can shoot directly at it. There we go. Well, I tell you what, uh, that was unfortunate there for Jose that that three ball dropped in the side. Uh, he had Alex in a pretty tight spot there. It looked pretty tight, and uh, no, I, uh, Jose cannot get to that two. Uh, thought he might make the same shot on the two, knock something from his pocket, but that uh, he's four ball has a little careful over. here. He's got a nice four ball lead here, but these balls, uh, one mistake, and uh, if these balls ever get apart. One mistake, and uh, it could go either way. I tell you what, I like what he's looking at right now. Hit that <coughs> three and go down table and try to cut him off to a one hard shot. And give him mm -hmm. one hard shot where all he can get is one ball. I like that. Yeah, but he's going to leave that five all open and move that ball from his side over there. Of course, he's still got to protect that 13 some way. Well, he's going to get this three on his side, but uh, he I think he remembers that scratch. He hit a shot similar to this <laughs> while ago and went right in the pocket. Uh huh. Well, he might be uh, going to cut that. Well, no, I don't think cut that shot's three in. So cut the three in, just put him up on that end rail, make, him, make sure he gets straight in. I don't think he can cut that in from this angle. Yeah, that's a, that's a touchy it. shot. Touchy shot. He can, but it's a touchy shot. Because it's awful thin. Yes, it is. And if he misses, he gives him two. Uh huh. Yeah. Tell you yeah. What, he's in an uncomfortable position. And he got it with the with the follow. Well, I like the results of this uh -huh. one. Uh huh. Good, good call. I'd there. be very happy with this because Alex hardly has any choice. I think he has to shoot the 13 and then play safe. Mm hmm. I think you're right. 
but uh, he's looking around. He's looking for another option. Because if he plays a five, it's hard to get the cue ball in a position where he can't bank the 13 or the five. It's pretty tough to guard on both balls, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Sure is. <clears throat> because it's hard. It looks like it's hard to get it around about where the 13's at and get the cue ball low without mm -hmm. maybe that orange ball hitting these corner balls or... He certainly don't want to keep the five and the cue ball below the rack and give Jose a bank. No, he doesn't. But if he shoots his 13, then he's got to play safe next. Uh, all he's going to get is the 13. That, no, that 14 two is not even close. Do you see anything else, Howard? Uh, well, he can shoot the two of the five, but uh, shooting those balls coming down the table, uh, Knock him back uh, up in the stack. I think what he might do here is uh, he's hit looking the four at something. two, or is he hitting eleven and trying ah, to freeze he's it? Yeah, 11. he's trying to float over. He's, Ooh. I think uh, Ooh. I think he left him straight in. I don't know. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I thought from the look expression on his face, he did something wrong. But mm -hmm. uh, 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 unless he can get to that four, I don't think he's got a shot. Except for that eleven, if there's room to bank it in between those balls. And can he, well, wait a minute, can he get to that nine? He may be able to get to that nine. Can he cross back no, that nine if he can get to it? I don't think he can get to the nine, but if he can, I would think he would play that. Mm -hmm. If he can get to it, maybe he can. Uh, well, one thing, you got a guy at the table that uh, chances are whatever shot he picks will be the right one. <laughs> no doubt about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he just decided to play safe. Boy, I see a shot here. If you like Russian roulette, you could try. What's that? Well, well you got to really be a gambler to play this one. Uh -huh. Play that seven, cut it into the two, and play it back in this hole, and then draw the cue ball off the seven and stick here. And maybe even if you don't make the seven, the only danger is you're going to leave him a pretty good bank on this 13. But that's probably <clears throat> better in a trick shot exhibition than a tournament match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where is that uh, 14 going if he hits that? Oh, you're right. It's going to hit the four and go right toward Jose's hole. Yeah, yeah that's no good at all. I think he's looking at shooting that three ball down the table and yeah. following it down and leaving him. That's a shot I like the best. I like uh, <clears throat> just trying to uh, get him all the way down. And he's going to be in an uncomfortable position if he gets him down on that end rail. Yeah, he can scratch on the shot, too. Uh, he didn't take no chance on that. <coughs> no, yeah, he got that three down on his side. Uh, a little aggressive shot there. Jose's not in any big trouble. We can get out of this, but he's still got to do it. Well, yeah. here, I guess what you do, you either cross the nine or bank the 11. I like kind of shooting the 11, keep a cluster over there where it's tough to make a bank at the stage of the game because I don't think. Well, he can, now he can come off that seven. <coughs> Get behind the nine. Looks like got a good uh, chance to get behind the nine. cue ball too easy on that. I don't like that one. I'd, really like I'd almost rather shoot the nine straight in than do that. Because mm -hmm. that, you hit the seven too thin, you're history. Yeah. You know, no you, come, about you that. might come right around the nine, leave him straight in. I'm not going to take no chance on doing that. Yeah, well, he's not well, either. He's going for the 13 here. Yes, he is. He's going to try to go around the nine, but boy, you can scratch off that nine pretty easy on this oh, shot. Oh, I, I can't. I He's don't looking like at that. it too. He just pointed at it. Uh, no, I think, I think you just row the eleven softly, and uh, that way you don't figure to make a mistake. And if you block that six ball, I think this is a pretty secure shot. And he even moved the nine up a little, so uh -huh. he might want to bank a three and take him right over toward the chalk again, Howard. Uh, and uh, sh uh, he can shoot pretty hard doing that, and uh, he might even get lucky and make the 13 or the yeah, move the 9 and 11 close to the hole here. Yeah, but if he uh, leaves him over on that rail, uh, Jose might be able to get that 11 out of there in case that 3 don't come down and do any damage. And uh, and if he if he gets him off the rail, uh, he has a chance of getting a shot, maybe not the 4, but the 5. A pretty good shot if he's not froze to that rail. Uh, this is a little da more dangerous shot than that last one, I think. But it, but it can be a more be uh, right. rewarding shot, too. You might be right. It looks like he, he's got that uh, shot's on, but it's not a gimme. 
Well, it looks like to me here that uh, there might be a possibility hitting the 14 into the four, but I don't, eh, I don't like that. That's a little too risky, but mm -hmm. he might freeze him on the two seven there. Oh, and it uh, looks like he could that. kiss the 14 off the four, send the four over to his side. No, he's going, he's just going to block. Think, yeah, I think he's going. He's just going to block. He's okay. going to use the four two seven as the blockers and uh, protect uh, these balls over here on this left rail. Yeah, is that 11 ball froze? Can Jose kick at it pretty easy? Looks like it might be froze, doesn't it? On the monitor, it's awful close, isn't it? Uh-huh. Well, I think he's going to roll that four. Well, now he's looking at the seven. Well, that's, uh, uh, hey, that, that 14 might kiss come right out of his pocket. And 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 uh, how about hitting that seven hard, falling straight up there towards the chalk. And uh, if the 14's got an angle, it can uh, kick over his pocket. Well, the four ball, the four ball goes up and hits the five. That's a little bit, a little bit risky. Shot's just not on. Well, if he if he elects to shoot this three ball, he may be drawing. He he may come straight across here, but to yeah. me, it look, I don't understand this. No, one. I think he'd like better going up the table. But you're right, he comes straight across. And he hit it Ooh. almost perfect. He got it real close. But why? What was the point of keeping the cue ball down here close? If he is up table around that corner pocket, he would really have the heat on him. He yeah. would have almost locked him up with that shot. I didn't understand what's the purpose of staying down table on that one. Uh, I don't know, but he had some reason for doing it. Maybe he just liked hitting the bank better like that. Maybe to get the speed to have a chance to make that 11, he had to hit it to ha have a chance to hit it hard enough where if he hit it that hard, maybe he couldn't control protect it up there. the cue ball and control the cue ball as well. Maybe that was the reason. Mm, well, maybe the shot wasn't known for the speed. I tell you what, he's got some serious pressure uh, at 11 ball, 9 ball, 3 ball. How about it's, banking uh, that 7, putting that cue ball up there oh, in that corner? Yeah, I like that one, if you can do that. But I don't think he can kill his cue ball and hit that thin enough. Well, he, if, to if kill he, the cue ball, you're liable to get it too far off the rail. And boy, if you leave that Jose a shot on that four or that five, he's going to shoot. Yeah, well, he doesn't have to bank that seven for his pocket. He's banking into that nine and 11. And subjects get a very good roll there. Yeah, but you do have to have very good control of that cue ball. Well, he's going to chip the nine and take him up table. Yeah, he's going to. He's thinning it. Tell you what, he's got him in a tough spot if he gets him any, almost any place up there on the end rail as long as he can't hit that 11. Jose's got a tough shot, doesn't he? Uh, I can't, he's got me blocked right now. And his best shot looks like it's gonna come rail first at that 11, but that's a little risky. That's a little risky. God almighty, you know. Is he shooting, is he Are looking at that combo? Are you kidding me? How can you look at this shot? Maybe just testing Alex's nerves a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't shoot this. So I'd rather shoot the four if I had to shoot some here. At least if I hit that one good, it goes. But uh, holy Toledo. Wow. Uh, he's for real shooting at this ball. Now nah, he's not. He's testing his nerves. I'd rather shoot. If I was going to bet the game on a shot, I bet it on the four rather than the six five combination. Now. Well, what else can he do down here? That uh, 13, uh, he can't bank that. He can't fire that into the rail and into the 11. There's just too much kissing going on. Uh, yeah, Alex. Uh, oh, now he still can come off that uh, that 7. Well, why can't he do this, Howard? Why can't he hit the 3, cut it a little hair? Uh, looking at it from a shooter's perspective, he, he's got to cut it a hair to the left where he clips the nine mm -hmm. a little bit, follow the cue ball and try to get those two balls to swing out of there and try to bring the cue ball about the middle of the end rail. That's a, that's a good shot. <clears throat> you just got to worry about leaving a bank maybe on that uh, three or 
depending on how it comes off that rail, how short it comes off that rail, leaving a shot, a bank on the three. Well, once he moves that 13, uh, that 3 9 uh, is really in his favor because he can bank them and Alex has to break them out, and there's nothing else uh -huh. close there that makes it easy to break that 3 9 out. Those balls are not hurting him. Uh, uh, Maybe that's what, well, maybe that's what he's betting on. He can get the 13 and 11, but that's all he can get. Maybe that's what Jose, why he's shooting a shot, is he figure if he leaves him froze there on the rail, he, I guess the 13's laying where he can pocket it, but he can't move at three. Mm -hmm. And so he can't get that three nine. Maybe that's why he's shooting this combination. Mm -hmm. He well, figured it only cost him maybe two balls, and if he makes this, he wins the game, but. Uh, well, you know, I'd almost rather play that shot you mentioned earlier. Let seven? me show you. Yeah, <laughs> it looks uh, <laughs> where he, you hit this side of the seven and try to go over here and bump this uh -huh. 11 up out of the way, hit it thin enough. Uh -huh. Only thing is the scratch may be too big on that. Yeah. Oh. Well, he added a twist to it. I didn't uh, follow it down I, hard and follow uh, it didn't down. Didn't realize he could follow that ball down. Uh, uh, pretty clever, Jose. Pretty clever, huh? Yeah, but he's he's giving a bank. I think he's got a bank on the six. He can bank it down there and hit the stack. He may not be able to bank it into the three, but he can bank it maybe down into that thirteen and stick that cue ball over there. He's got that froze ball. But he's looking at making a seven. I think that's what he's looking at. Let's see if that ball goes. And now that level is almost close to the rail. Ball, all of a sudden, yeah, for some reason. I tell you what, I wouldn't shoot this unless I had a really good chance to make it because, boy, you let him out of the trap if you shoot this one. No doubt. No doubt. I think, uh, what do you think about hitting the four and just sticking him right on top? Well, then he can kick two rails. He's not yeah. in a real tough spot there. But I think he's got to bank the six or make that seven, whichever one he's got a shot at. Okay. Uh, and uh, he banked that six as if he controlled the ball, but uh, you got to make sure he protects that 11. And uh, you know, there's other balls there. Uh, maybe by just following on up there and uh, and putting him up there up the table, but he might get a shot on that four. The score in games is still 2 2, isn't it? Each player has two. He's uh, going for this ball. No, it's 3 it? 2. Uh, Alex is ahead three to two. He's on the hill? Yes, he's on the hill. Oh, wow. Jose does have the heat on him, so he's on the hill three two. So uh, Jose's fighting for his life here. Uh huh. Well, he kind of took a flyer there, that combination, and he, he managed to get it down there where he couldn't do a lot, but. He did uh, break those balls up where uh, Jose had him over on his side and moved one over to his side and some others up the table. Well, Jose's in a tough spot here. Jose. Uh, well, if worse comes to worse, he can thin that 11 real thin and maybe roll, freeze to the rail and roll the cue ball over there around that two, maybe even get behind it some way. Just that'd make be sure a hell of a scratch. shot if he could leave that 11 on the rail and block uh -huh. that seven with a cue ball, then Alex is going to lose his advantage. If he can do that shot where he blocks that seven, oh, he, hit that he bumped good. it. I don't know if he got it to the rail. Uh, it's down there where it's going to be a tough bank. He well, just shoots it. He up. definitely got the 11 okay. Mm -hmm. I don't. Th I think he took the 11 out of play. Mm -hmm. well, but I don't know about the seven. Yeah. Alex is looking at being up there. Maybe he's coming off that at six and just putting the cue ball up there. Move it over on his side, look and see if that shot's on. No, I think he's going to cross the seven to go up there. Yeah, he and could. And just send it maybe toward the two and the nine and maybe What's in What's he going to do with that six, though? Well, I guess the four, if he gets on the end rail, I guess that he cuts the six off with the four. Uh-huh. That's why he's looking to hit it about a diamond and a half from the pocket where he can curl right now. He's going for the shot you mentioned, yeah, the six. Yeah, he's going for that six, I think. Look at that boy, shot, huh? he's got, he could leave him a shot here now. Oh, what a nice touch. He hit it pretty good. That was really great yes, he did. speed control. And uh, Jose Parica comes to the table once again. And uh, 
That pressure's really on him, and I don't think you can push there. Well, if he can get to that three, I like your shot on that three nine, clipping that, that nine, knocking around, then the cue ball comes down in real, and he don't, and 11 blocks. He can't hit the nine, and now I think he has to cut that too much. Uh, He's got to, he don't, that shot's not on. I think now that shot's not even a choice. I think he has to cut the three so much, uh, he lose the cue ball. I think he's only shot. Uh, it's off that seven. I tell you what, uh, maybe just shoot between the six and the seven, take a foul and try to shoot it down here, the speed where you might try to hit the seven real thin, but I'm not sure what I wouldn't take a foul here and just try to shoot it down here where he doesn't have a shot on the two. Mm -hmm. Well, if he, if he leads him up down here where he can get to that five, if he does move that, well, he's going to shoot it. He's shooting at the 13. Maybe he can hit the nine. I can't tell what he's I doing. I think he's here. shooting at the 13. Maybe he can, maybe he can shoot that three. I tell you what, that is a shot. Oh. Uh, that's incredible there. Ooh. Wow. Howard, how strong is that <laughs> shot? <laughs> well, you know, he keeps making these shots and he got something to go with it. I'm telling he, you he what, didn't. that's one of the best shots of the tournament I've seen there. I have to take my hat off. Uh, what a, just a terrific shot he come with there. And he split the wicket on that ball too. <laughs> that was nothing but net. Ooh. Well, he kind of stirred those up there a little bit. I tell you what, Jose Perica made a shot. Uh, yes, he did. That was a pressure pack shot. And how about that position where he creep right around that ball and uh, run out and uh, that Alex has had him in uh, big, big trouble for uh, several shots. And uh, Jose Perica, what a great player. He, uh, he is. He kind of stole that game right off from under Alex, didn't he? Yes, he did. And you know something? Uh, it just goes to show you why these guys fire to their pocket. Sometimes they make a ball, they can't get out, no matter what kind of uh, position they're in. But meanwhile, Alex has got to break, and you know what that means. Well, we know so far what it means. We know he's made the corner ball three times in a row, and the match is hill hill. And uh, this match has been all offense almost all the way. Uh, no Alex, doubt about it. Uh, uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, that 14 went three times in a row. Let's see if it goes again. And uh, that time, isn't it funny, Howard, like what you were mentioning earlier? Mm -hmm. He made it so many times there this match that we started to think, or I did, I thought the ma the ball was dead. Uh, yeah, it was automatic. And this time uh, it doesn't go. It's a crazy, uh, this, uh, you never quite know what to expect, do you? No, you don't. And uh, Jose, one on his break, breaking to the other pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, he won one on his break. This match has definitely been full of surprises, huh? Yeah, it's been a rather unorthodox match in the, making balls on the break and leaving the other player shot. Uh, Tell you what, Alex has broken him. Uh, even though he didn't make a ball, he's got Jose in a tough spot again. Yes, he does. And he's thinking. This game, I'm not going to give Jose any kind of shot. <laughs> you do think that's crossing his mind a little bit? Well, I tell you one thing, this Jose don't plan on giving him one either. So. No, he doesn't. Jose's going to do something with this eight. I think he's going to cut it and kind of follow it, force fight a little bit, try yeah. to put him down on the rail. <clears throat> I don't know if the shot's on real good or not. He's got to What's worry wrong about with double this? kissing. Why? Yeah. Oh, maybe he I don't think he can do it, I was going to say. Uh, yeah, I don't think he can hit the 12 thin enough to go right here. Uh-huh. Well, <laughs> yes, he can when, ooh, he's got to be careful there, though. He might leave that spin bank on the 10. Uh -huh. Boy, he may think about this. Now, if this shot is possible, I don't know if the angle's right, but, you know, I see something here, Howard. Yeah. If you want to try to shoot for your money and win, where uh -huh. you might not lose if you miss, is try to spin. I think he can hit it above and hit the cue ball with left spin and try to spin yeah, that spin 10 back. back in your pocket. And that cue ball with the low, you should be able to draw up in this area where you're playing position for three balls. Ooh, the only question shot. is where the 10 ends up if it don't go in. But if you get up in this area, it doesn't much matter if it hangs up in Jose's pocket. He can't, uh, I don't think he can make another ball. He's still in a tough spot. Uh, how you like that one? That's a pretty good pick there. I thought you was going to say follow it. 
But uh, you're thinking about uh, I'm thinking about it. going for the <clears throat> win there, but maybe he can't get it above the point and make it over here. So, Well, if he wants to play safe, too, he may be able to go into that eight and spin the, the – uh, spin the uh, – And get behind this ten and put him in trouble. But uh, That's again, if he gets him on top of that ten, he's not going to do much. But uh, he may be thinking of uh, shooting a, a, a eight and following and sticking him inside that rack too. Yeah, he's looking to see where he's got what got he has his stick laying on the rail. He's mm -hmm. looking to bring the eight over to his side one rail and follow the cue ball forward and he's looking to see what kind of shot Jose would have if he gets up about that third diamond. See, he wouldn't want to go far enough where Jose can hit that two ball. No, but if he can get him up very close to that rack, uh, he'd have him in a really bad position. Jose would probably have to take a scratch. But that's, that's not a, a real easy shot to judge uh, coming off the date right where it is. He's thinking about your shot, and I don't know if he's thinking about He might uh, play that and just follow forward and leave the cue ball maybe just an inch or two to the left of that chalk on the rail, but mm -hmm. no, he's uh, he's doing something with that eight. Oh, he's just coming right into the stack. And, oh, uh, he did come with that shot. That's a pretty <coughs> good shot. My guess is that'll be worth one ball there, <laughs> unless Jose hits the ball kicking at it. Uh-huh. I think uh, here, Jose just has, I think uh, I would consider taking a foul here. The only thing I'd be concerned about is not to leave him a bank shot on that 10, because if you allow him to bank that 10 in, he can, uh, he's got four balls there. He can get pretty easy, five to nothing, and then maybe stick you behind something again. Uh, uh, I tell you what, hung up in the jaws over here, or. I'll show you where I'd like to end up with the mm -hmm. cue ball here. I'd like to shoot it right here, mm -hmm. come right by the 10. You can't take any chance on hitting it. And try to get right over here on this point, and that cuts off the 10, and uh, I don't think he can uh, get real aggressive. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe that 10's blocking too much of the end rail now. Tell you well, what, he is in a tough spot. He took a foul right there on top. Now, I tell you what, I'd have to think about elevating my cue and opening up on the six and drawing back. How you do that or, or putting him right back in the same spot and make big another one? I tell you what, I'd have to think about uh, elevating up and drawing that cue ball back to about that third diamond, sending every ball to my pocket. Mm-hmm. Huh? That's a, that's a thought. That's a thought, but he didn't like where he was at just now. I don't, hey, but well, Alex is thinking about he's putting him up at the end rail. It. He's going to leave him distance, I guess, but I tell you what, uh, I'd have to give it serious thought. I don't know if I'd shoot it, but boy, I'd sure like to. Because <laughs> that like six, to seven, and 13 that option, huh? are all going to be flying for that corner pocket if you elevate and try to draw back. Yeah, he They're going to be racing for that side of the table. Or he can get up the table and shoot his, shoot his cue sure ball the six and with seven some inside and some draw, shoot in it down this way, force it, and send it back up that way. You know, yeah. thin that and hit and, the sixth thin and yeah. try to get him back in the same spot. Uh, well, even send it up the table like you're talking about, hit it hard and hit with inside so that it comes oh, down and goes so back up there. Oh, so you dig into those balls and send some mm -hmm. of them balls toward your pocket. Uh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you might have a, it takes a, chance a great idea dead one, there. And you take a chance on something funny happening and leave him a shot on 15 where he can knock the four, 14 and two out, too. Uh, I tell you what, you also have to think. If he's in that tough a spot, why not leave him there take a foul? Because yes. number one, yeah, I'd like that too. he's going to have to do something first. Jose's going to have to be the first guy. I don't think I'd want to be sitting on that corner if I was Jose on two fouls and have to do something. I'd have to shoot over toward this corner pocket before I got on two fouls because it's pretty hard to play. Pretty hard for him to play safe from here. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like putting him right back there. I might just leave him right there. And Alex is taking his time. He's trying to figure it out. But he's decided to not scratch himself. Just to put Jose up there. But I think I'm that's, not sure I would let... Uh, well, I tell you what, I'm not I sure I'd want this it. cue ball. I don't think I'd let him uh, off of this. He's pretty uncomfortable. See, yeah. he's... 
He's going to try maybe something like what you were mentioning. Uh, yeah, but he's not. He's not. Uh, gonna, I would hit it hard, and elevate my cue a little bit, and draw the ball and kill it, but hit more force in those balls if I was going to shoot that shot. But he's doing the right thing right there. I, I think, think that's, that's the number that's one right thing. That's probably the best <laughs> shot because uh, Jose will have to perform first. And number one, Jose already needs nine. And mm -hmm. if he makes another foul, he's going to need ten balls. Absolutely. <clears throat> And I tell you one thing, if I was Jose, I don't think I'd leave it there for that third foul coming up because I'm not losing okay. my cheese on no three fouls in the Kill Hill game. <laughs> now, you know what's wrong with uh, him taking the foul like you were discussing, going the rail first and, and uh, coming back over uh, over like this? Uh-huh. You know what's wrong with that? What? Look what he's got a bridge over. He's got a Entire bridge over stack. all those balls. He's got short hands. But I don't think he's got any choice, Howard. What else is he going to do? Yeah, well, I don't know, but uh, what else is what else can he do? That might be why he rolled it out there just a little bit, just to give himself a little bit better shot better to take bridge. the foul. Better bridge. Yeah. Well, there's a space there. I don't know if he can get between it between that three and four, but uh, you are right. He he may he might even have to use the floater for this, Howard, where yeah. his hand floats above the rack. Yeah. It's, uh, He's looking like he wants to kick two rails at this 10, but boy, I don't like that at all. No. I don't like that. Boy, no. That, that well, takes can, some serious can... nerve to play that shot. Well. Oh. I tell well, you I'm what, gonna tell you he's something. left him a shot. Well, I can't, I can't believe he kicked to that ball like that, do you? If it bumps the 14, he's history, you know what yeah. I mean? I, well, uh, he, he hit it as good as you could possibly hit it and just barely got away. If he got away, it looks like to me Alex has a chance to spin the 10 in. I think Alex mm -hmm. will end up playing this 10. And, uh, yes, I, I'm telling you. It, uh, I mean, he may act like he's not, but I think Alex has to shoot at this 10. The stakes are too high. If he can make it, he's supposed to shoot at it. Now, if he don't think he can make it, uh, I don't see him shooting at it, but... Uh, well, it looks like he can spin it in. Yeah, I'd say he can if he, he's bearing down on it. The monitor makes it look a little tougher, but... Uh, he looking could at this get monitor a funny down kiss here. off his 15, though, uh, if he don't go yeah. forward. Well, he's hitting it with high, so he's going to go forward. Uh-huh. You know something? He didn't hit that ball real thin either. He hit it real thick. Uh, yes, he did. And I noticed, you know, when he played that, I noticed that he wasn't hitting that with low right spin, so mm -hmm. it must have not looked that tough to him because usually you go with that extreme low right mm -hmm. on those shots. And uh, Boy, he got a chance. And, uh, I tell you what, Jose, uh, if he let him send him up table, he's still not out of the jackpot, but he's certainly in a lot better position than he was a shot ago. Oh, yes. Yes, he is. Because if Alex makes that shot, he's going to pick up a four or five ball lead, probably minimum. And uh, we are at the World One Pocket Championships in uh, Portland, Maine. And what an exciting match we have tonight. Uh, it's a winner's bracket match between Jose Perica and Alex Pagulian. And uh, the shot making and shots we've seen tonight, it's just been an incredible match. And, uh, Hill, Hill, and uh, what a pressure-packed match, Howard. It has been uh, pressure all the way. Guys, made, uh, Alex has made balls on the break in every rack except the last one. Yeah, I tell you what, I have to take my hat off to Parika after looking at that for three. Wow, months. look at this shot here. Look at this shot. Well, Man. That's, that's touch, isn't it? It is. Okay, we're going to change... As soon as he sh Jose shoots, we're going to change the tape, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back with the match uh, between Jose Perica and Alex Pagulian. Uh, game score is 3-3. The ball score of this final game as Jose Perica is one in the hole, and Alex has one ball. And uh, Jose just played a safety. You haven't missed any shots. Because uh, Alex, uh, Jose, his last shot at the table, he kicked, he was up by where the two balls at uh, and kicked the 14 up table. And uh, now it's Alex's shot again. And uh, looks like he's going to try to chip the three a little bit here. Yeah, I thought he might look at that 12, but that 12, he don't, I don't think he had a shot. Uh, 
Although it looks better on the table than it does on the monitor. He's got the, he's got the eight up, up the table, but I don't think he can shoot that. Uh, if he can get to that two, he might be able to get up there and roll into it, but uh, he don't want That's to get That's what it I like. I like hitting the two ball, driving it over to my side of the table and following the cue ball down to the end rail, maybe about the first diamond where you're lined up with the 10 and 14 on a straight line. Mm -hmm. See where he sticks at. I like this. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I can't see quite that angle. I didn't know if he had an angle to hit the whole uh, two ball. Or he had to he just can. roll up there and bunny. I think it. he can. I think that's what he's going to play, maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, he don't want to catch a corner. The outside point. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to and catch he don't want to scratch. That's the worst thing. On this one, you got to be sure you hit the two full or here to the right because you left the veil and you're in the corner pocket. Yep. And the point or the, uh, the, the corner pocket, well, certainly, if you get in there, certainly be the worst, but the uh, point is can be bad. And and either way, it looks like he's going to leave Jose a shot on the 14. Well, he decided to bunt it up there, and he might be oh in trouble. Oh, my goodness. What did he do here? He left Jose. Wow. I think he was trying to bunt it over there and maybe put him behind the two, and he he just, the ball just rolled a little thinner than he was looking. Yeah, he's trying to hit the two little forward and put both of them on the end rail. I think you'll see Jose play probably position on the 10 or 15 here. He's going to go for that two ball. The scoring balls is Perica Oles one. Alex has one, and uh, that's not to say that this two ball is a simple shot, but uh, the way he's been playing, I would expect that he will make this. Yeah, hit it pretty good. Okay, now he needs a little bit of a bump. Now he does have a shot on the uh, 15. But boy, where do you go after that? No, right. he's going for the 10. Yeah, he's got the 10. He can, he can bank the 14 over towards his pocket. I don't know if it goes or not. It's kind of close on that count. But he's coming back for the 15 now. Does the 14 go too? Doesn't look like that. He might have an angle to roll over there and bump it a little bit. He's looking to maybe play position on the one. and uh, mm -hmm. Boy, that was a great <coughs> shot he made today. Boy, he hit center court in that last stripe. Uh, center court again. Boy, he's, he's hitting the pocket good. Yes, he is. Well, if he's got an angle, he can roll that 14 on over there and freeze him up against the stack, but he's looking at that one. I think I would play the one here where I just drew the cue ball far enough to get behind the 14. Mm -hmm. Gosh, well, he's got to be careful. He shot that awful quick. Uh, he did Alex might quick. be able to cut this 14 in and break the whole rack out. He might be. And uh, he just kind of got up in one stroke that. He didn't really uh, concentrate that on as hard as he had the prior two or three shots. Uh, he did hit that rather quick for him, didn't he? Yeah, he... he uh, I tell you what, if he let that out cut this 14 in, that could that could cost him the match. Well, he's got a shot. He's got a shot, and uh, you can bet your bottom dollar he's going to shoot it. Uh, it kind of looks like the, uh, it's a better shot than uh, Jose had last game. Yeah. Jose shot it, and, and it was the uh, 14 or was it the 7? It's all going to depend here. I think Alex will make the 14. It's just going to depend on uh, whether he gets position. If he gets position, opens up that stack. Jose's in trouble. Mm -hmm. Boy, he's, well, that 3-4 is wired, I think. Well, has he got a shot? <coughs> well, I think it is wired, because he was looking Maybe at Maybe not. He looks Maybe like not. he can make it. Well, I think Jose caught a little bit of a break and that he didn't get any more balls over there than he did. Yeah, but he can sure get them here if this ball's dead. Uh, Jose would have come out smelling like a rose if this 3-4 wasn't dead. But mm -hmm. Boy, this 3-4, he gets position. Well, it's not dead. He's going to do gonna be, something to it. There's not going to be two balls touching, I don't think, after this shot if he shoots <laughs> at it. If he shoots at it, he might as well wail at it. He knocked his know. balls He's over on that side and back bit. on He's his. He's cutting it a little bit. Yeah, I know it's not a dead shot. Oh. Gosh, he made them both. He hit it. He hit it with authority. That's what he had to do. But he uh, came up a little short again. 
And uh, I think his only shot might be cutting that, that six ball over there or banking that 11. <coughs> and he's got a cross bank that 11 to make sure he doesn't leave him on the six or the nine. I tell you what I like here. I like banking that 11, and I mean, I wouldn't hit at warp speed, but I guarantee you it's not going to roll off, and I'd cross that 11 and send it right and try to kiss it right in off the one. I'd go for mm -hmm. the win here and bring the cue ball, Howard, across uh, table yeah. over about that middle diamond. If that angle's on anyway, that's yeah, what I it's, really it's like. It's close, but it looks like it might come up a little short in that. But you know, these rails, they either go a little bit short on some angles and just a little bit wider, they go wide. You know, they, these tables bank kind of like that. And uh, it just depends on how he, uh, see, but wait a minute. He may be able to kiss the, uh, t uh, what, the 12 off of the one. I didn't see that oh. for a second. Yeah, he's probably, uh, he's, uh, this is uh, probably the most important shot of the match. If he made oh. that, I think it was Katie bar the door. Yeah, I believe so. So Jose Perica is a little fortunate, I think, to get back to the table. He's got to be pretty happy. Oh, yeah. He's got to be happy after that. Because uh, Alex hit that shot warp speed, that last one, and, uh, and uh, he was uh, a little bit unlucky he didn't get a better shot than that. Yeah, he was, uh, boy, he was Jose, unlucky he's twice after on this that, 11. On that. Boy, that's a, boy, that's a high profile shot. Boy, he's elevating. Look at this. Uh, he's well, trying he, to bank that 11. And, that 12 uh, and that 15 don't go, so he's in good, good, good shape. And he, uh, he hit oh, it short. I see why he had to elevate that. Uh, well, the 11 stopped in a good position for him. Well, he can come off that 15, open those up, and maybe get over behind that stack. But it looks like he's got the only bank he'd have is the 13. It looks like it's going to be blocked. What do you like here now? Uh, coming thin off that 15 is my first impression. Uh, putting it over there where he's put the cue ball over where he's at now and kind of rolling that 12 against the rail and it, I think it blocks the bank on the 13 and uh, it opens those balls up. Uh, he may what about be crossing the 11 to your side and sending him down here uh, on the end rail blocking with that 6? Yeah, you can do that but uh, your pocket still isn't opened up. He's coming well, he off the one. He did it off the one, and uh, if he bumps this, uh, Jose may even have a shot for his hole here. He may be able to bank to 12 or kick it <clears> to 15. I tell you what, uh, I don't know, though. I think it's lined up where, <clears throat> for, in order for him to move the 15 up table, I think it'll hold too much and run into the six, maybe so. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's too comfortable of a shot for Jose. It's. Uh, He's looking at it right now, though. He's looking at these two balls pretty close. So. Well, he, he might be able to hit it at a slow speed, <laughs> spin it, and uh, only leave a bank on the, uh, well, the 13's out there, only leave a bank on the 6, but he might be able to roll that 15 up there where he wouldn't have a shot. Yeah, I can't see I exactly. can uh, almost make one of these balls. I don't think I'd want to tear those up if they don't go. Uh, mm -hmm. I tell you what I might even do here. I might bank 11 from a hole. Yeah, well, it's up there. That side pocket's in the way. And uh, it's hard to get this cue ball to come off this rail just right. But then you got to look at what you're going to shoot next. Well, I don't think the 15's dead in his pocket, but he's studying those balls awful hard. Well, I don't blame him, because this is a big match. There's uh, the tournament will be bound down to two players on the winner's side. Yeah, this is a big match, very big match. What shooting at that ball, something tells me if you miss execute, if he shoots at that 15, if he makes this, executes this shot, he could lose the game real easily. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> how about this, Howard? Row that six. That, if those two balls ever move, that combination may not exactly be wired, but I know it's not real hard. That uh, five and is that the nine? Mm -hmm. uh, what about just rolling the six toward them, breaking it, and bringing them over here behind this 12-15 and uh, bounce off the end rail a little bit so you don't scratch? 
that's not uh, that's not too bad. Uh, Jose's gonna move that one, but look here, he's left him a shot on the eight now. Oh my God, uh, he's left him a shot to cut the eight. Absolutely. And play it off the rail and break mm -hmm. those out, which. Well, if he, if he if he ever cuts this ball and hits that 12, I think Jose's going to be out. If he what's now? If he ever cuts this ball and hits the 12 going in and it doesn't go, it's like Jose's dead out. I mean, this is a shot the game can turn on right here. But the pocket's big enough, he should be able to shoot it right in. Now, but uh, then he's again, trying to spin it up. So he's trying to do this and get it above that 11 where he's safe, too, and boy. But but then if Alex shoots it in clean, he doesn't have a second shot. Yeah. So it's a it's a low reward, and it could cost you the game. My he missed God, cued. he missed cue. That's incredible. Look at here. Look at here. Boy, Jose, my old, he said, oh, my God, boy, he's got to be lucky that Alex didn't <laughs> make contact with eight, in my opinion, there. No kidding. He should feel awful happy that Alex, if he... I don't know what could happen bad if he knocks that eight down toward this hole, do you? Uh, the only bad thing is if he didn't go in. That was the uh, only bad thing. And uh, Alex uh, uh, tried to spin it at, at heavy spin and just miscued. Yeah. Well, he didn't miscue completely. It's like his, his tip just kind of slid on the ball, but he still hit it enough to go travel that far. Okay, now what's going on here? Combination. My God, he made this ball almost. Boy, he hit that pretty good. Tell you good, what, he? that makes the cheese a little more binding. Yes, it does. Boy, he hit that shot. Great, great execution by Jose there. He's got some pressure now on the. Uh, because well, he pretty well is going to have to shoot it to one ball here, I think, unless he could come off the nine. But, boy, I don't think I'd want to take that nah, kind of I risk. I don't think he's going to do it. I, think he's I don't think it's that hard. Shoot directly at that one or come in behind it and kick because uh, he can leave him right there. That uh, bank on that uh, six is not on. I think the, the 10 and the uh, 15, he's have, got the maybe, 12 and the 15 have that block. <clears throat> He might have to be a little careful, though, with that six, Howard. That six might be bankable for Jose. Well, I, I think the 15 and the 12 has got it. Uh, you think they got the uh, rail that, cut off? I think so. Okay. Well, but I don't he, know for sure. He doesn't have a very hard shot if he can kick behind it. I mean, the worst yeah. thing that could happen, he'd well, leave him a shot on the one, no, probably. It's a, little, it's a little harder because he's up in the air. Elevated. Mm -hmm. And he just miscued. <laughs> <laughs> An interesting point there, Howard. Yeah. A very he may go two very he may go two rails. Interesting point you bring up. Uh, he's gonna take a scratch. Wow. He's just trying to snooker him like or something. Uh-huh. I tell you what I'd do. Oh no, I don't know if I would. I tell you what, that might be a better shot than it looked like. Yeah. That because look, if Jose rows behind and tries to freeze him on the 12, he leaves him that bank on the, well, boy, you shoot it to eight though, you're leaving the one, that would take some guts. Well, if he gets that one out there at all, he can he can combo bank it. I mean, he can combo it where it is now, and if he moves it up there a little bit, it's just gonna be a little better. I mean, he's got Jose in a pretty good spot here. Yeah, you're right. Unless Jose goes into the one and hits Jose's rail. I tell you what, this which might, is like this. This might be the. Oh, he ahead. hits Jose's rail, hits the one, and hits the rail, and moves it up, and just leaves him down here like that. I mean, then he can knock those balls out. But I, I really like uh, that. Ain't the worst thing in the world he could do. Jose is uh, shooting this six. Well, he's going to break the balls out and knock them on his side. That's a pretty good little shot right there. I tell there. you what, that was a real clever shot there now. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, we've seen uh, definitely world-class one-pocket shots in this match, huh? No doubt about it. <clears throat> well, Alex can go rail first and come off, hit the five, and go back to the rail and leave him behind that one or behind the one and the five. But he better not leave him a shot on that nine. I tell you what, he's got to be a little careful down here. I was going to say he could hit the one, knock the four, one five out of there. but. Mm -hmm. Well, Alex thinks he can make this 12 straight in. And he might be able to do it. 
I think Jose had, had forgot about that ball a little bit. Yeah. If you and don't the, make that one, you can pack your bags. No doubt about it. For the loser's bracket, if you shoot at this 12 and don't make it, I don't believe you're going to get away with missing that ball. No. No, you got to make it to shoot at it. And I Good would be said, amazed I if Jose left that ball there. See, the only way you can kind of pinch that balls in there shoot easy, and I don't know mm -hmm. what good that is, you may end up behind the 15. Mm -hmm. If you shoot this hard, I don't think you have to make that 15 or that 12 at all. Well, uh, Alex must agree with you because he's he's doing something with the he's one and the five. He's going to shoot the five into the one and try to send them over toward his side and maybe get a good kiss if he hits a one thin enough. No, he did something entirely different. Well. If that one don't come down for a break, he's made a good shot. Yeah. I'm well, guessing. again, though, now if, if uh, Jose can either shoot the eight or the nine here, he can, he can go behind, he can two rail that eight, or he can go behind it and kick it, and hit, kick in that side rail and down toward his pocket. But well, he's looking at uh, trying to knock those balls out of there now. I tell you what, I kind of like, well, I tell you what, I like moving that eight. That, of course, maybe he can cut the one and kiss it in off the 12. I tell you what, it's just hard to play a shot here where you got them dead to rights, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't, I, I don't think uh, Alex's going to shoot that one, try to kiss it off with, with that eight and that five and that 11 all over there around his his vicinity. Well, if you draw him over there and block that 9-5 toward that right corner is what I was thinking uh -huh. about. Uh, to make it two in the corner, maybe the move, Howard, you just, well, no, if you kick and leave the cue ball stuck there, if he gets to cross that five ball, mm -hmm. that could be catastrophe because he could hit that real fall. It's, uh, this is uh, definitely a shot where these shots we're looking at, any one of them can cost you the match if you make no a mistake on these. Well, I, I like uh, kicking that eight as well as any, because if he hits that five, he's got he's got to really go for that ball. Uh, and it don't have to go over there. It ain't like it's got, it's got I'll side I'll tell you one thing, there. if I kick at this ball, I'm kicking hard enough to have a chance to make it, I tell oh, you yeah, that. You got, I'm you not bunting this. Uh, I'm going to hope it hits the five. I'm hoping it hits 11 and something good happen. I'm going to take my best shot at this one. I'm going to hit it pretty firm. Mm-hmm. And boy, he did too. Yes, he did. Oh, look oh, at here. and something Ooh. almost really happened good. Yes, he did. Well, boy, he hit it pretty hard. He was, <laughs> when it comes to speed on that kick, I was thinking about the same thing he was. I was hoping something good would happen in there, yeah. <laughs> like something dropping my hole. <laughs> <laughs> well. I think Alex got to do something with that five and that eight, or especially that eight. He maybe will go behind it and kick it, and it, a similar shot that uh, that Jose just hit, but just kick it and, and leave it up out of his pocket there. You know, and uh, get it up up above. Can he go behind hold. and just tap it up? Well, well I, if he's got the angle to do that, I think that's why he's got to do. But that eight ball, it looks like it's close enough. Uh, up away from that pocket where he won't uh, uh, scratch in that pocket. There's no danger of really scratching in the pocket. But the danger is, is make sure you get behind it enough. Yeah, you hit the eight too thin here and it's taps. Yes. Yep. So, uh, but all these shots again, have been like all, that lately. Every shot, uh, since those two balls got tied up, every shot's been one that you could, uh, he may even try to break him up. Now, I like that. <laughs> You know what I like here? What's that? I like what he's getting ready to shoot there. Cut that 11, try to break that 12, 15 up under the three and uh, try to knock eight in the hole or get behind it and knock it out or mm -hmm. unless it just hangs there. Or does that, can he get in, in the pocket beside the eight, with, uh, you know, uh, pass that eight? Oh, yeah, there's not enough room really to kick eight out. You almost got to make it, don't you? Well, I mean, uh, well, if the cue ball goes in there, pass that eight. <laughs> It looks like there no, might be enough room I don't for think, that. I don't think you have to worry about it slipping by unless you hit it awfully, awfully thin. But uh, okay, anyway. you're talking about. I've seen about going in off the end rail into the eight. You're talking about going off the oh. eleven directly into the eight. Yeah. And unless it just uh, hangs, if I could get that 12-15 broke up, uh, you might really have something here. And yeah, you would, but but you could leave a bank possibly. That's right. Are you leaving that cue ball down there? You might have it leave that bank. 
I like uh, moving that eight and leaving those balls just like they are and let Jose worry about them a little bit more. Well, yeah, I, I prefer the simplest solution. I remember. In but you got to remember, though, if you leave him so he can get to that one ball, he's going to be behind that 12 and 15. So Alex has got yeah. a lot to think about here. Uh, his best shot might be a combo, 8-5 combo, or the 5-8 combo, and just stick him right there. Or roll down just a little bit. That might be the best shot. Cut the 8 in and yeah. move the 5 over to your side and stick yeah. there. Yeah, just. No, he's shooting 11. He's, uh, he's, he's doing something. He, he, he may try to break up the 15-12 here. This is definitely kind of an aggressive shot. And, uh, no kidding. He, how did he miss an 8? He hit that too thin. Hug. He's going to corner hook him, isn't he? Wow. Yeah, if he corner hooked him, he's, wow. he's got him. But I think he's got an 11-3 combo here. Now, I, balls got some I'd, side li I'd like to bet on that shot. What is the odds of him <laughs> shooting at that ball and ended up in the center of his hole here? I mean, uh, you think Poole don't have some surprises now? <laughs> now, how do you like to bet that the cue ball ends up in the center of Alex's uh, pocket on that on that yeah. shot? Well, meanwhile, Jose's going to, she's got a free shot here. At which ball? Uh, three ball, 11 on the you three. You think he can kiss the three? Well, oh, yeah, he, yeah, 11 on the three, and he's got sideboards over that at eight. Uh, uh, well, he can still miss it, but he's got he's got pretty good sideboards. And uh, and Alex still. Looks like to me <laughs> he's got to really cut that 11 on the left so that he don't oh, he hit does, the eight too fall. It's a free shot. Well, uh, well, you can bet that three and that eight's going for a ride now. But they may double kiss and stay right there. Uh, he's, he might want to. Uh, I guarantee you one thing. This is one that I would hit warp speed. <laughs> well, he might. He, listen, he might even shoot the five, send the cue ball into the three, and, and, and from that angle, you know, stop yeah. the cue ball right there. Yeah, it's very possible. That's, uh, that's not that bad a shot from there. You get three balls out of there. Well, I tell you what, you couldn't have a better game to finish a match than uh, this Hill Hill game because every shot that they shoot, they could possibly lose or uh, win the match with. That's right. And win it's them. more likely to, well, this is the first time, well, Jose shot at the combination, but evidently it just, uh, he couldn't get it thin enough. But uh, I tell you what, I, I like... Uh, Cutting this three into the eight, 100 miles an hour, and then knocking the five away from there and sticking right where the five's at. And I tell you what, I've got to take my chances with that one. Well, that. Because, boy, if that eight gets away from the three or the three starts flying toward this corner pocket of Alex's, something has a really good chance to go in. You now, if you can judge that shot where that you hit that, bank that five over toward that stack, and then go into that three. And knock that eight and get that going over there. That's a, it's a pretty nah, good he's shot. He's going to cut the one and go behind the three eight, I guess. Uh, no, nah, he he's doing something over there. He's. Well, he I wish, think this is the one, one that gives him. Well, he shot oh, the three. Oh man, that's the that's the trouble with shooting that shot. Something could could come back and double kiss. And did, did you hear Alex? He said, "Oh my God!" When, yeah. he, shot, <laughs> when he seen that cue ball coming back where he had a shot on the five. I don't think he ever saw the shot of going off the five into the three You're and stopping right. right there. You're I, I, right. I like that part. I like that shot. You like that better? Oh, I, I like that because it moves that five. And you can't. Well, you know, that's why I said go ahead and run into the five. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. he's trying to die it underneath the five, mm -hmm. and he just got it a little low. Well, that's hard to judge, you know, oh, shooting yeah. that hard. That's why I'd go ahead and move the five out of the way so that uh, mm -hmm. I'd try to judge where to hit the three to move that out. And oh, Jose he just hits made this a... one uh, now. Well, Ooh, he's got a pressure pack shot coming up. He does. Because uh, if he clips this uh, 12, uh, I tell you what, he may draw it enough and bump the 12 and try to get shape on the 15 here. What do well, you think he, he's going to do? I think he, he can make Ooh, the ball. Look at the stretch on his get, shot. Get past the 8 into Boy, the rail. Look how. Just hope he gets enough not to scratch and he doesn't hit the rail and hit the 12 and then scratch. Well, uh, he's got a shot at 13, but I don't know if he's going to take it. <laughs> 
<laughs> look at him stamp his foot. Uh, he was hoping uh, to, if he bumps the 12 there, I already caught that point yeah. and went back to the left. If he runs into the 12, he's straight in on the 11. And, yeah. uh, it's hard to get them balls to shorten up off these rails. I mean, that, that slippery rail, it's tough to get to shorten up like you want to. I tell you what, it's hard not to shoot it to 13, I think. Mm -hmm. Jose Perica is leading this game five to two, but look at those five balls. Alex has two. He only needs these five that are very close to his pocket. So uh, Jose's in a tough spot. These two balls, even though they've kept Alex from making a ball, they've absolutely haunted this Perica this game because he can't do <laughs> nothing with them. He can't get them out of there. I think he's playing safe. But why don't he shoot the eight out? rather than the, the, the 13. Now, if he shot the 8 out, uh, the 13 still been there, and Alex couldn't have made it. I tell you what, but you he, have to give serious consideration to banking this 8 now. He, yes, you do. I, I think uh, he needed to get that cue ball back another inch, because, boy, if this goes, uh -huh, okay. Uh, this is a tough shot on this table. That ball don't want to hold up here, but he's got. But he's at least going to break them ball guy. Oh, he hit it. Hit it pretty good. He hit it pretty good. Ooh. Jose needed to draw back about another inch to cut that shot off. So oh, it's just got three now. He, now he it's needs, five three. He needs uh, he needs five, and I see three right there, and the others are open. He needs he needs uh, Will that everything go by? except the three and the nine. Will that eleven go by the twelve? I can't I'll really tell. You tell. What, that might be the <clears throat> shot here is play the 11 and play position for the 6. I don't know. Well, no, that's, I, this, I like this better. He's drawing straight back or he's trying to come in between them. He's coming around. That's a good shot. Well, that doesn't make any difference. He well, can... the most important shot is going to be where whichever ball he picks to play position on after he plays the 15 mm -hmm. is where he falls on that 6 or 13. Almost has to play for the six. Yeah. Well, if it gets an angle, he can come up a short of the side, off the end rail, up short of the side pocket on Jose's side, and come off that rail if he's if he's uh, in play in between those balls and uh, play position on both of them. If he goes too far, he's got six. If he comes up short, he's got 13. Well, one thing. Some people might say play the 15, go up for the 6, and then you got a better ball to play position on mm -hmm. down here, and then you could go back up for the 13. Okay, you think he, he can make, yeah, he can make that uh, 11 <coughs> I think and I would, stay down here. I still I think see. I'd stay down here and take these two and get where I only oh, needed yeah. two balls. Yeah, okay. Okay, this is uh, good speed here. We'll win the match on this shot. Get it pretty good. Getting straight in. I tell you but, what, uh, he's going to have to bank the 13. He's going to have to just row forward a little and then bank that 13 cross corner. Unless he wants to load it up and go two rails <laughs> and try to fall straight in, I think I'd stop and go for the bank. Yeah, can he draw it straight back to the end rail and come off the end rail and come uh, straight down or has he got a little angle? Well, I don't think I'd want to take that kind of risk. Oh, me here. neither. But I was just wondering if he. he oh, might, I think he, he might could do see. it. If he, I think he could do it. But you, you take a chance on missing a six and being in uh -huh. that one hole, and your opponent needing three, and you're getting at least you're going to get a bank for your money right here on this thirteen. Mm -hmm. And if it goes, case closed. Yep, he's uh, he's sitting on the money. Well, it's going to bank this easy. You know how hard okay, it is. Alex Baglan is on the hill in games and in balls. He needs one ball. There's three balls on the table, and he's shooting for the win. Boy, he didn't roll it, did he? I'll tell you what, he didn't give it a chance to roll off, no, did he, Howard? No, no way. <laughs> No way. I tell you what, that was a great match. Uh, yeah, both players simply played terrific pool there. 
Jose just got a little careless there. He needed to be sure he drew that ball back to the rail. He mm -hmm. was trying to keep that ball on his side of the table, and it was tough to do both, you know what I mean? If he hits it a little harder to draw back that extra inch, that ball's going to come back across. Mm -hmm. I like when he played that safety down there. I like shooting that eight up the table because it would go in, in Alex's pocket and leaving the 13 there. Okay, uh, we're going to have an interview with uh, Alex the winner, Alex Pagulan. Uh, he wins a thriller, 4-3. We'll be right back. Okay, uh, Howard Vickery and uh, myself are sitting here with the winner of that thrilling match we just saw. Uh, what an exciting game, and I'd like to, first of all, uh, Alex, uh, congratulate you on uh, just a terrific match. Well, thank you, Nick. That last game just kept Howard and myself on the edge of our chair because the game could be won and lost almost mm -hmm. every time you guys come to the table. If somebody misexecutes, they could have lost that game. Uh -huh. Well, that's the, probably the greatest win I ever had so far. That uh, game there, that match I had to uh, Jose Parica. I mean, I was uh, intimidated, intimidated by him. Every time I play him, I'm scared. <laughs> well, you're not by yourself. I've seen that happen quite a bit. <laughs> well, you're definitely not the only guy that he can intimidate. I mean, that shot he made to get on the hill, you had him in a tough spot the whole game. You had all the balls down here the game before the last one. And uh, he elevated the cue and cut this ball here. I mean, it went in nothing but center yeah. court. That had to surprise you a little bit that he yeah. went for that shot. Huh? And uh, you lost the game there. That, it yeah, looked like he was going to win 4-2, or at least you really had him in trouble. And, boy, he elevated, and what a terrific shot he made to get to the hill. And then uh, that last game, uh, oh, what an exciting game. I mean, uh, that's one of the most exciting one-pocket games I've ever seen. You made a great bank uh, uh, on that eight ball. I mean, the shot was there. and. Uh, uh, but still, I mean, you hit it really good. Uh, you got a down table where it clipped, opened up that 12 and 15. They've been tied up for a long time, and uh, and it's hard to come with those shots under that kind of pressure. Uh, you have any questions? Uh, yes, I, I like have to ask uh, him, Eric? one, especially. Uh, do you give racking lessons? Uh, I know you rack them up <laughs> very well. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I just try to break the ball and like um, I'm still new at the game and I watch these people the way they break mm -hmm. the ball right and uh, I just copied it. You know? uh, well I'm interested it in making that ball uh, break incredible the ball. The first three times you broke it really put some uh, pressure on Jose because the first three times you broke you made that corner ball. Uh, mm -hmm. That was incredible and then the last time you made it you broke sensational and it hit like four or five inches from the pocket. Uh, Jose was really in a tough spot in the beginning of that rack, and uh, both of you ended up being in tough spots at the end. And uh, uh, I remember when you played that, what was it, the 3-8, or, and you got the cue ball above the five there, and uh, uh, he said, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was surprised, too, the way, I, the way I'm breaking the ball, some just I made three in a row, and uh, the last one was is in trot. And mm -hmm. Well, you know, when you shot the, uh, uh, you had the five, and you had the three and the eight like this. Yeah. Did you consider hitting the five and hitting a direct low ball to the three hard and moving, banking the five over towards your where the balls were tied to 12 and 15, all that. I'm hitting the ball with a cue ball, uh, the three, and maybe knocking those out on that shot. Did you consider that shot? Or did you decide not to shoot that, or did you just oh, not consider I, it? I didn't see the shot. Oh. I mean, I was. We were discussing that. And when you shot the ball, the, the uh, you got a double kiss and sent back up there and gave Jose a shot. All right. And then he, he didn't, he, the balls weren't led real good, and he ended up getting tied up and, uh, and left in uh, 
And that's when he, he played safe on the 13, left you the bank on the 8. Right? right. You know what he's talking about. He's talking about banking the 5, the yeah. ball that you came above and using the cue balls of Karam to come down into the 3 and then driving the 3-8 over with the cue ball. Or at least that's the option out. he's talking about. Actually, that was, um, I think that was the shot. I just <laughs> thought about it now. I mean, <laughs> you're right, actually. Um, I could break my two, you know, the two balls tied up over my hole and I knocked the two balls over his, mm -hmm. uh, out of the soul. I think that might have been shot now. That eight, five ball might have went over there, broke those balls up, not went in, and gave, gave him a nice bank. But uh, things worked out the way it happened. But uh, I th that might have been a consideration there. D this game is, uh, it's, damn, there, you have to think a lot at this game. <laughs> a lot of decisions <laughs> to make in this game. Uh, even after you make the shots, you, then you got to figure out how hard you want to shoot. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got one decision <laughs> after the next. And, uh, well, you played a fine game, though. You Thanks played a help. great match, and great uh, match. I want to congratulate you again. Thanks and, again. Uh, and I got an appointment with you tomorrow at 2.30. And, uh, yeah, actually. Uh, uh, can I buy you a couple of drinks after this interview? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> you played you. great, and I'll see you for the thank finals you. of the winner's bracket tomorrow at 2.30. Um, Thanks for joining you, uh, us, Alex. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody. Boy, what a killer match this was tonight. Uh, oh, what a one-pocket match it was. Jose Perica, Alex Pagulan uh, just played terrific one-pocket. Uh, and uh, we'd like to thank everybody for joining us today and for a free catalog from AccuStats. Just call us at 1-800-828-0397. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time around.